Welcome to Overdramatic Really Loud Main Menu Music House Flipper 2! <laughs> I always... I always start the game 
on the main menu because it feels right to have the menu up before I start the game. But for some reason for House Flipper too, the the menu music is so much louder than the actual in-game background music. Like it's it's a reasonable level now. It, if anything, it's too quiet now. But whenever I load up the game, it's always just full volume blasting. <laughs> But hello everybody, welcome to fam- fam- oh, no family. Uh, just Friday, I guess. <laughs> but yes, it's usually family Friday today, but Xander has had some of his teeth stolen, and he's struggling to speak without it aching a lot, so we decided, you know what? It's probably not a good idea to be talking for four hours, if it is hurting when you talk. So <laughs> So we decided to not do Family Friday this week so he can recover a little bit more, he can recuperate. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna have a Flippy Friday instead. We'll, we'll do some House Flipper, because I haven't played it in a while. It's It's been like, probably about a month. I think it probably has been a month since I played this. Like, start of May would be the last time, I think. It's been a while. But uh, I always like some House Flipping. And also, I forgot to actually change my office into my new house. So it's plonked me back in the, the shed, the shed that I need to renovate and sell to somebody else. So let's start by going to my actual house. Oh, I can just do that here. <laughs> the houses. All right, I'm gonna quickly get to my house and then I will, okay, move home office here. Fixed it, and now we go there. And now I can start greeting everybody properly. Now that we are in my house. My house, which I'm doing up so nicely. I'm, I'm really loving how this is turning out so far. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Uh, Lyra, congratulations on the first. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello, Rika. Hello, Akira. Thank you for the... For the slight jump scare as I was about to start the stream. <laughs> and for the sneaky head pat before I even began. But a welcome, welcome. Welcome, Bob. I hope the coding goes well. I hope you have a good luck. Welcome back, random guy. Nice to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And hello, Hikari. Lovely to see you again, too. How's everyone doing? I, I hope everyone's been having a good week. It is Friday. It is the start of the weekend, almost. <laughs> And today is also the start of Ofkai Expo weekend, which has officially... Wait, time zones, when, when I don't know when it officially starts, but it's, it's today! <laughs> but uh, welcome in our... Oh, hello YouTube partner, Liri. How am I today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much for reminding me of something I want to talk about. <laughs> but uh, Oh, and Dr. Anime as well. Hello, welcome, welcome. And Akire, thank you for the dictionary narration redeem to start with. Right, let's start with a, a word for the day. What's our word for the day gonna be? Let's let's find out. We've got the letter L. The letter L, we have got wait no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Can I veto an entry just because I don't want it? <laughs> I'm going to. I'm I'm going to veto a word for the second time ever in my life purely because it is just a, a British political party and I want like a, a word word <laughs> right, let me open another page for L we've got okay thank you for the dictionary narration redeem the word we have is leathery not even leather we've got leathery the adjective Leathery, meaning having a tough, hard texture like leather. Also above it, there is leather jacket, a noun, which is a British term for the tough-skinned lava of a large crane fly. Which is very interesting to me because I've, I've not heard the term leather jacket before. I've, I've never used that as a term. But apparently it's a British term for the for the lava of a crane fly. So I, I guess I learnt today as well. <laughs> but thank you for the dictionary redeem. And oh, is the weather crappy where I am? Uh, oh, wait, it's been a white 
messy morning. It's, is it snowing where you are? Oh, wow. If it's snowing, that's... That is wild. The weather over here at the moment is very... Generic. <laughs> it's like the... I feel like the weather is... Fine. I'd call it fine. It's it's very, very like default British weather. It's like, it's kind of cold. It's a little bit dreary, but it's not like raining or super miserable, but it's also not bright. It's, it's very, it's very British weather. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing too, too severe or anything. It's not like terrible weather. It's the kind of weather I like the most because it's, it's very mild. It's very mild weather. Yeah. Oh, you meant wet. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's so easy when you're on autopilot to just accidentally type the wrong things in. But no, I haven't, I haven't noticed any rain. It may have rained. In the UK, it's kind of like when it rains, I kind of don't really acknowledge it much unless it's like really heavy torrential rain because <laughs> I'm just kind of used to it. <laughs> I don't actually know what the weather is now that I'm thinking about it. I've I've not opened my blinds today. I've I've left my blinds closed today because there were people outside and I wanted to not be perceived. So I, d I don't actually know what the weather's like today. <laughs> but it's not like extreme bad weather or anything. Ah, uh, I seem to give you two words for one more often recently. Yeah, I, I feel like it's just I've kind of ended up doing it that way because some dictionary entries are really long. And then other ones will be like five words. And at that point, it feels like a scam. I'm like, <laughs> I might as well do another short one to go with it then. <laughs> but yeah, I was mostly just curious because I've I've never actually heard the term leather jacket before. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone refer to an insect as a leather jacket. So the fact it was listed as British was like, I, I guess not in my neck of the woods. <laughs> But yeah, it was interesting. But thank you for the head pat too. But yeah, weather weather is very normal here at the moment. But yes, we are back to House Flipper because when Xander said he didn't know if he'd be if he'd be up for streaming today, which I I kind of figured since I knew he had the appointment on Tuesday. We, we were just going to play it by ear. We were like, we'll see see how you feel in the morning. If you don't feel up to it, it is fine. I have got many things to play. And then I was thinking about what to play. I was looking at my puzzle games and... Uh, I, I don't think I want to play a puzzle game today. <laughs> so I was just looking through like, I think I want something easier. I want something very relaxed and chill because I've not been sleeping very well recently. And then I, I was just thinking, well, last time this happened, I'm pretty sure I played House Flipper then as well. So Flippy Friday. It's the Family Friday failsafe. Oh, I made it. I'm It's the alliteration there. I'm proud of myself. The Family Friday fallback failsafe is Flippy Friday. <laughs> But yeah, last time we played this, I ended up doing the whole outside of my house. It's a little hard to see in the dark, but I did add a bunch of lights. And it lights up so well at night time. I love how it's turned out. But yes, uh, last, last stream I did of this was basically just me painting the walls along the outside for the whole stream because there's a lot of walls wow. that had to be painted. But I really, really love how my house is looking. It's like, I've gone for like, like it's like that kind of stark modern architecture, but I'm, I'm adding like soft edges to it. <laughs> I don't want it to be like harsh concrete. I want it to be warm and inviting, even though there's lots of squares. <laughs> and I, I think I'm succeeding with that. I think it's nice. I love how it's how it's turning out. And I've got my little paint swatches for, for painting the walls inside. And also I did the, the walls in the bathroom too. I found these tiles and I was like, yes, this is our bathroom. And I think the bathroom was where I ended it last time. So yeah, the, the rest of the stream will be decorating the rest of the house and chatting apparently about the weather. <laughs> 
Oh, your good advice. Do not go Kuwait in summer. I, I would not be able to go to any warm country in the summer. I, even even in the winter, I would probably struggle. I do so badly in heat. <laughs> There's so many places I would love to visit, and then I hear the the average temperatures, and I'm like, maybe, maybe one day. I will stop being so sensitive to heat, but probably not. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really bad with hot weather. Oh yeah, I did the lights as well last time. I set up the lights, so the lights are all attached to, to light switches. So when I do the switch here, it turns on and off the outdoor lights. They're all linked up. And then we've got the lights in here. We've got the lights in here. They all have their own light switches. I remember I did that. I did that. Right, so it's. I think it's time to decide how I want to paint the walls. I think that's a good place to start. Because I've got all the paints. Or the, I've, I've decided on these paints. I might go for a, another teal as well to go with it, because I've got this teal at the moment. It looks a bit more bluish in the dark, but when it's daytime, it is, it's very tealish. But it might be nice to have a lighter one of the teal as well. Uh, might not want to visit Texas. Oh, yeah, I, it's it's hard knowing when places have like changeable weather. Uh, imagining a Far East sub race of Lalafell that speaks in haiku <laughs> instead of rhyme or alliteration. Wait, that would be amazing. That would be so good. The haiku Lalafell. Hello, brave. Oh, hello, traveler. What brings you to our ah, calm lands? Everything okay? That's, that's just a free haiku for you there. I'm just pretending to be an imaginary lalafo. <laughs> uh, oh, Bob, thank you for the lurk hydrate. Thank you. Let me open up my monster energy ultra rosa. See, it's funny too, because usually I, I have the white can monster on a Friday to be kind to Xander. This time I'm just like, I'm just going to have the Rosa and if I if I don't finish it, I'll, I'll just not take it down for dinner afterwards. <laughs> I just feel like the Rosa today. Ah! Replenish brain cells! Brain cells that I don't have. I'm... I'm recovering from zero to zero. <laughs> but ah, oh, you're you're already suffering during summer in Germany. Oh yeah. I feel like it's it's definitely harder in countries that aren't used to warm weather all the time. At least like when it's when it's a country that's used to warm weather, there there's all like the infrastructure in place to deal with it. But when it's when it's a place that's not traditionally as warm, a lot of the time it gets so hard. Like, I, I wish we had AC here. If we had air conditioning here, I would probably be way more functional in summer than I am. <laughs> but alas, it is not a common thing in the UK. And if I did want to get air conditioning, it would probably be very expensive. And I have things that would be better to spend money on. Like food. <laughs> Oh, I've already been spending too much money recently. It's it's so bad for me. I've been... <laughs> With Ofkai coming up, we've been getting, like, the new Verpro merchandise. There's going to be the, the new keychains that debuted Ofkai. And I'm... It's kind of funny because it's like, with merchandise, you kind of sell it to make a profit, right? Except I kind of just undo it all by just going, okay, but then I want to use all of my profit and buy everybody else's merch as well, please. Thank you. <laughs> I just want all of it. I just want all the merch. It's so nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that. And I'm also really excited because I've heard that uh, my, my anniversary merch bundles have started to be shipped out as well. So that is very exciting. I'm... I'm excited to see when they start arriving. But yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to Afkai this weekend. Because even though I'm not there, uh, ob obviously I'm I'm streaming right now. If, if if I was in California, I would not be streaming right now. 
But uh, I'm, I'm going to be able to virtually visit Ofkai later today, which I'm really, really excited for. I'm... I got very lucky. I got the opportunity to go on an, an iPad tour of Ofkai. So if anybody is yes! in California... Oh my gosh! That, that was me when I found out they were they were letting me go on a tour. <laughs> so if anyone is at Ofkai and you're free today at like 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. until half past 2... Uh, I'm I'm gonna be touring off Kai Expo. I'm gonna be wandering around in iPad format. So I'm hoping I get to see people like that. I want to see people and say hi. But yeah, that's really exciting because even though I can't physically be there, I can still virtually be there. One of the perks of being a VTuber, I guess. <laughs> and there's also gonna be the the Studio Elan Verpro collaborative panel tomorrow as well. And that's going to be 4 p.m. Pacific time, which is which is midnight for me, so <laughs> I'm having a late night. But I'm looking forward to that as well. It's going to be nice. It's going to be very, very relaxed. We don't really have many plans, but I kind of like that. I'm I'm here for the relaxation. I could do... I, I forgot to put lights in this entrance hallway. I realize now I mentioned that last time and I still have not added lights here, so I should do that. But uh, let's start by... Let's paint this white, I think. So I added the two pink walls here, but I don't want to just make it all pink because I feel like that would be too much. It's, who am I talking about too much pink? What is happening? But yeah, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm very excited for off guy stuff. It's, it's really nice, like, even though I'm not there... Like, seeing people talk about it makes me happy. Like, I'm not there. I'm just, like, living vicariously through everybody else. I'm seeing everybody else's posts and just being like, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's almost like I'm there. Right. Do I need to... Paint the inside of here, maybe? I think they're already painted. I think they may already be painted here. <laughs> right, let's do this as well, though. I think this can also be white. These, because we got these little columns. Oh, I could do the columns different colors. Oh, actually, I think I might want to do this bit pink. I think I want to do this wall pink to match the outside. I don't remember what pink the outside was, though. Was it this one? I think it's this one because this one's been used. Uh, let me let me test. That looks very pale compared to this. I don't think this is the same thing. Hold on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the tool to find this paint in the shop. Okay, I know it's this paint. Let's see. Oh, it is the same one. Okay. It is the same one, it's just the angles and the lighting. I see. But uh, also as well, uh, Monster gives me 20 times the brain cells. Yeah, I went from zero to zero. It's great. Uh, oh, you kind of want to go home and continue rigging. <laughs> yeah, oh, once the coding is done. Use the coding as a as an incentive. Like the the more coding you get done, the faster you can get back and enjoy the 3d rigging <laughs> but yeah it's very exciting i i saw your message you sent to me earlier but i haven't been able to like fully check it out yet because uh everything happens so much but i'm looking forward to checking that out afterwards also Miyoko Cho, hello welcome welcome good afternoon you got your kokoro con ticket oh nice con season really is approaching I hope you have fun with that. I I was looking into UK conventions for this year. I, I think I've got all the painting perks. How did I get another point? Who knows? I was actually looking into UK conventions for this year, but I I don't think I can really afford it in a like a responsible way. <laughs> like I possibly could, but it wouldn't be the responsible thing to do. So uh, I don't think I'm attending any conventions this year. 
Although I was looking as well because there's there's a there's a VTuber convention that's actually starting in the UK as well. Which looks like it's going to be really interesting and also really amuses me because it's on, I'm pretty sure it's on the same weekend as Kitacon, which is like one of the longest running anime conventions in the UK that's like still going at the moment. <laughs> so that's that's going to be interesting. But yeah, that like the timing is a little unfortunate, but it, I'm I'm really curious as to how it'll go. It seems like they've got loads of really good like big name VTubers to attend. So that's that's exciting. But I was looking into that as well because it's it's uh it's in Birmingham, which is in the Midlands, which is where I live. So it would be easier for me to access if I did want to go there. <laughs> But yeah, a lot depends on cost. Like, conventions are so much fun, but they, they do be costing money. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to Kitacon. I could not afford it. <laughs> I used to. I've been to quite a few Kitacons back in the day. But yeah, it's been a while since I went to a convention, to be honest. I just want those to be pink because of the, the beams. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with any of this painting, to be honest, but it's okay. Oh, Bob, you got your ticket for Ferality Umbra. Oh, I'm guessing that's a furry convention. I hope you have fun with that. But yeah, I've, I've, I have very fond memories of Kitacon in the past. Uh, I've, but it, it has been a very long time since I went. <laughs> Good times though. Good times. Mostly the good times I remember are like just hanging out with people in hotel rooms. <laughs> like instead of like the actual convention events, like the, the fun times for me are, are when like everyone just brings like a bottle of something to someone's hotel room and then we just sit and chill. That's my favorite kind of convention <laughs> environment, I think. Oh, I'm, I'm too old for the party conventions now. I just want to sit and talk about my day with a glass of wine. <laughs> oh, oh, Lyra, you've been wanting to go to Ofkai for a while. I think that's what you're going to start saving up for instead of the usual AX visit. Oh, that would be so good. I've, With everything I hear about Ofkai, like I, one thing I do want to do is I would love to aim to visit Ofkai next year. But it feels so daunting to me. It feels a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary to go to the US and also expensive. But I would love to aim to do that. And there's so many people I know who are aiming for next year as well. So it, it would be so good. It would be such a good opportunity. We will see how things go. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, Bob, it's a furry convention in VR chat. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, that's so that's more accessible as well. Like and anyone can with like a VR headset can head to a, a virtual convention. And honestly, even without too. Like I love that VR chat has a desktop mode as well, so you can just like play it like a game. <laughs> if you don't have VR, you can still enter the world and stuff. I think it's really nice. I say because I don't have a VR headset. But, oh, oh, the biggest one around Europe's in Birmingham. Also in the Midlands. Oh, just saying. Um, I am I am a Midlandser. <laughs> yeah, I think Bir Birmingham is one of the, the biggest cities that's accessible for me to get to in, a, like, an easy way. Yeah, trying to think. Honestly, I I can probably get to London in an easy way as well. It's just not enjoyable. <laughs> It's not as enjoyable because London is very, very busy and a lot. And I, I get very anxious in London. It's, I, I think it's just like because it is so big and it's always so busy, it's like the hub. And, and I kind of just like, I like places where I can hide in corners and there's, although I don't know, now that I'm saying that, it's, easy to hide like in plain sight 
in like a busy city. Because it's the kind of place where there's so many people that nobody's really paying attention to you specifically. Thinking as I say things. But yeah. Yeah, London, London travel infrastructure is really good. If you're not driving, mostly. <laughs> like, public transport in London is pretty accessible if you know what you're doing like there's loads of buses there's the the whole underground tube system it's very easy to get around which is definitely a plus but also the underground as well i love the concept of the underground and i actually love like the tube map system and figuring out how to get to places and navigating um when the tube is busy that is my biggest nightmare like seeing trains appear they open the door everyone's already crammed in there like sardines i go i will wait for the next one and then i wait for the next one and that is also crammed that is the part i don't enjoy <laughs> but that's just me that's that's just i'm a little anxious baby in crowds <laughs> but yeah it's been a while since i visited places like just for the sake of going there and being like a, a, a visitor, like a tourist. And I do kind of miss that. I want to do that more often. Anyway, I love how I like expanded this paint swatch for no apparent reason. I don't know why I did that. I'm just in autopilot painting because I don't know where I want to paint next. I don't know what colors I want to paint things in. Like it's easy to just say pink, but I don't want everything to be pink. So which may surprise people. I don't know what I want to do in here. Hmm. I'm wondering... Hmm. I'm wondering if it might be nice to have, like, a different colour just for the, the staircase area. Like, if I do pink up to here, where the staircase is, and continue the pink up that way, it might be nice to have this pink and then continue this wall in a different colour so it's not too pink. Maybe. I think I may try that. Oh, I forgot to build a wall here too. I was going to build a wall for when I place a doorway here. And I didn't do that. I think I was going to place the door and then add the wall to make sure I didn't do it the wrong height. But I should probably wait to paint until I've done that. Do I buy doors? I, I've just realized I've got all these like archways, entranceways. I've not actually put the doors in. <laughs> Maybe that should be my focus. Maybe. Also, Waffle Off, hello! Welcome, welcome. Yeah, maybe in central travels better, but on the edge you've often had to wait over like an hour for a bus. Ah, oh, yeah, that's... That's like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm used to waiting for buses as well. <laughs> because like where I live as well is... The, the buses are at very specific times, and if you miss them, then good luck. But once I get into, like, the closest town, there are buses running, like, every five minutes to the big places. But yeah, it's it's more the fact that, like, it exists in the first place, too, because there there's quite a few places where if you do want to get around, you'll have to, like, get a bus one way and then change and then get another bus and change and go another way. Whereas it's like, even if you do have to do changes in London, they, it's there's usually enough options that it's not super long. It doesn't take like a super long time. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of just waffling on already. <laughs> I should have just said just chatting stream instead of house flipper, because what have I done so far? I've, I've walked in here and painted a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to have some more monster. But yes, as well, uh, regarding what Rika mentioned earlier as well, something I did want to mention on stream. Uh, very exciting news, but I've, uh, I've become a YouTube partner. Hold on, where's my confetti? I've become a YouTube partner. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Which uh, genuinely surprised me, because 
Uh, I don't use my YouTube channel for much at the moment. It is a glorified VOD channel. But it's like, I really like having my VODs available because some of the games I play, especially like long form games, it's really nice to have all of that available to just watch it all. Because I'm also the kind of person who goes onto YouTube yes! and finds oh full God! playthroughs of games to just put on while I'm working. <laughs> But yeah, I've officially become a, a YouTube partner. I, I thought I was going to be rejected for it, but they were like, no, nah, no, nah, you're on board. Here you go. You can have memberships and super chats now, which uh, I haven't enabled memberships because I, I don't really have anything to offer for a membership at the moment. So that feels a bit bad, <laughs> but uh, it, I feel like it's a nice push for me to do more with my YouTube channel because there's so much stuff I mean to do and that I've been planning to do that I just haven't gotten around to. And now I'm like, well, I, I, I should totally do that now. <laughs> but yeah, it's really exciting. Also, Susan May, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good morning from Off Kai Day One. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I hope you have a fun day. Uh, if you're free at 2 p.m. today, look out for me. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going on an iPad tour. <laughs> Look out for um, Ofkai Expo staff holding an iPad because they will be holding me. <laughs> but that's really exciting too. Also, Dima, thank you for the headpad as well. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I need to adjust my my headphones a second. I need to, I need to take my headphones off. They're being weird. Eh. I think it's mostly that my hair's being weird as well today. Let me do do do. There we go. That's better. I can, I can hear properly now. <laughs> Not that there's anything to hear at the moment. The the background music stopped. Please come back. Please come back. Please background music. I miss you. It's just me stepping now. There it is. There it is. It's back now. Oh, we got our own music right as the background music started. <laughs> Thank you, Akira. And Hikari, what, what type of headphones do I use? I use um, Sennheiser something good. I've forgotten the exact make now. I, I did a lot of research into headphones when I was buying my headphones because I wanted, like, good good sound quality ones that I can use for like studio monitoring as well as like general use so I forked out a little bit on them they're, they're good headphones I've forgotten which ones exactly now though hold on hold on I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check <laughs> I'm gonna go check which headphones I bought oh where did I buy them from I can just search my emails I guess Headphones. Oh no, I lied. I lied. They're not Sennheiser ones. They are Audio Technica M50X headphones. Those are the headphones I use. The uh, the the Sennheiser ones were the ones I was using before these. And now I now I have the Audio Technica M50X. Uh, professional studio headphones for studio recording, creators, DJs, gaming, podcasts, everyday listening, black. <laughs> but they're really, really nice headphones. I love these headphones. It's just, my my hair is a little bit fly away today, so it, I need to like adjust my hair before I put my headphones on to make it work out right. <laughs> but yeah, they're really nice headphones though. I love these headphones. Yeah. Yeah, they're super comfy as well. They have like a... They're, they're really nicely cushioned. They're very comfy ones. And even though they're the, the type of headphones with the... Like the over the head with the band, I don't have the, the dreaded for like head dent that people talk about. <laughs> There's no head dent here. My, my headphones are padded and comfy. But yeah, they're really nice ones though. 
I like them a lot. I did a lot of research before I bought them because I, I knew I wanted nice headphones. And I'm glad I ended up with these ones. Right, what else do I... Hmm. Okay, our bathroom is done. I'm wondering, do I do this pink? Or should I make it white? Should I make it white? I might do white to try and make it like bright and light in here, but only for the the staircase, like this stairway. Because I think it might be a bit too harsh if there's more white otherwise. Oh, this is already white. Yeah, I'll, ca I'll carry on the white to like here. And then have these as a color, I think. Maybe these can be pink. Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. Oh, any OBS advice on how to keep your game music from playing on the starting soon screen? Well, uh, I'm not really, uh, <laughs> I'm not really the best for like tech advice with stuff. But uh, if you if you Google um, like audio channels or audio routing, I guess would be the best term. Uh, there there are ways of like splitting your audio or or just like playing specific audio so that not it doesn't have like everything coming through. Like the biggest tip for OBS I have is to not have your desktop audio going through OBS. Just mute that. Just mute all of your desktop audio and then add your audio sources separately. <laughs> like <laughs> it's what I did. Like the first thing I did was uh desktop audio is muted and everything else is brought in to OBS individually. Because that way it means you don't get like accidental like system window sounds going thillum on the stream as well. And it also means you can load stuff up while you're streaming and not worry about the sound of that coming through on the stream. It's very nice. It's it's the way I've the way I've already always set up mine. Well, out of paint. That's okay, I got plenty of paint. Boop. Yeah, don't don't use the audio capture and yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot they added the application capture as a as an option in OBS and it it seems to work pretty well. I, f I the last time I tried it, I had quite a few problems with it, but that was a while ago now. That was like back in the Borderlands days, which was quite a while ago. <laughs> But uh, it's it's a really nice addition. Like it's the kind of thing that I don't really have to worry about because I I have like a whole system. I've got a I've got a roadcaster. I've got like Road Unity set up to split my audio and stuff. <laughs> but that's not like beginner level tips. That is um, this is what I decided to do for my thing. <laughs> Oh, uh, also, if you want your brain to explode, try looking up how to use voice meter. I used to use voice meter. Voice meter is such a great program in theory. That's like the, the virtual cables to split audio. I had so many problems with it. I ended up buying a GoXLR just so I didn't have to deal with voice meter. <laughs> but that was because I, I, I couldn't be bothered to like tech troubleshoot. I was like, I would rather not deal with this. Yeah, oh, how are new, newer OBS versions, by the way? Uh, I've updated my OBS to uh, 30, and everything seems fine at the moment, so... I think I'm on 30.0.2. I, I did get a little pop-up to update it recently that I haven't done yet, but I, I do plan to. But it seems pretty stable so far. It, it, I think... The recent updates are, are pretty good for OBS. <laughs> but yeah, my, my audio setup is um, I have a, a Rodecaster Duo audio interface, which is, it's, it's like a standalone interface as well, which is why I got it, because I can plug it into my laptop and do, do recording on my laptop. <laughs> but that's really nice. But it, it's... I, I got it to replace my GoXLR, which was being a bit funky, and it doesn't work the same as a GoXLR. 
but I have found ways around it using a program, uh, Road Road Unity, I think it is, and that basically works like like voice meter in the way it like splits up the audio sources. It's like virtual cables, but it works better for me. <laughs> but yeah, if you've been holding off on updating OBS because of worrying about updates, then I I think it's fine now. I think it's safe. More white paint. And then I'm gonna mark this wall off. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to reach that corner. I, I can't reach that corner to mark it up. Ah, oh, hold on. This isn't gonna be tall enough, is it? I don't think this is gonna be tall enough to reach here. Stairs on the stairs. I, no, I can't reach that from here. How do I reach this? I have like a ladder ladder? I guess I need to buy a, a, a ladder ladder. <laughs> a proper ladder. Which I can't even type. Gym ladder? I don't think I can... Can I climb that? No, I think that's like a furniture decoration ladder. The, the only things I have are like the step ladder and scaffolding. That... This... I don't think this will fit in the house. No, it won't. How do I... <laughs> What can I do? Can I get like individual scaffolding? Maybe if I just like build a platform that I can jump on and then sell afterwards. What can I do? I, I need like cheap, something cheap that I can just pop here to borrow and then sell. Not a roof. Oh, a beam. I could. Oh, yeah, let's. Let's just. Just for now. <laughs> Let us add a couple of beams. We're doing it this way. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Flawless. Um, Don't try this at home. This is a very bad way to... Uh, to decorate safely. Because it's not safe. But it works for what I'm doing. And now that I'm painting, I can just, I can just float over there. Yeah, there we go. I'll catch you later. Oh, your lift's here. Oh, I hope you have a good work day. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for dropping in. I hope you have a, an easy work day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for the, the Minecraft solution of place dirt blocks, except instead of dirt blocks, it's a, a wooden beam. It's so funny because even though they've added scaffolding as like a, an item in Minecraft, I still just build towers of dirt blocks. <laughs> I don't use the scaffolding. Okay, there we go. I painted it. I painted it. Oh, I need to paint the ceiling too. I just realized all well, the ceilings are, are gray. I want them to be white. so gray look at that oh that's better that's so much brighter look at those all of the ceiling ba, 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 ba. let's border here border there let's make all of this white I forgot the ceilings are harder to paint. Yeah, grey <laughs> gray isn't great. <laughs> it's not what I'm going for. Grey can look so nice. I, I think like especially grey and pink as well. I think grey and pink can look so nice together. It's just not the look I'm going for at the moment. I want the the bright white. I want everything to be fresh and super bright, and I cannot control this paint roller, but that's okay. Boop. Yeah, look at that! Okay, so yeah, these walls are grey as well. They're not white. So now I decide what else- oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to continue the, the white paint down 
here as well. Oh, I already did. <laughs> Wait, I already did that. Oh, oh, the scaffolding's really neat for building bridges. Oh, because it automatically separates it into sections where supports might go. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I bet you could make some really nice bridges like that. Didn't even think about that. Oh, uh, reminds you of an item they added to Raft recently. Oh, what did they add? I've I've never played Raft. I've seen people play it. I've not played it myself before. Why do you, the, the ceiling one always turns when I don't want it to? Eh. Just want it to go down in the line. It's okay. Right, let's do this as well. Now that it's actually daytime in the day, in the game. Daytime in the day. Uh, wow, you don't say. Now that it's actually daytime in the game, I can see that all of these things I thought were white are actually just like plain concrete gray. <laughs> I didn't realize because it was so dark. Oh, and this is like a, a better representation of the, the teal of the walls as well. Now that it's not super dark. It matches so well. Oh, if I do this, it's going to go over the... Oh, that's fine. The pink bits in between here. That's fine. I think the ceiling can stay white. Like that? Okay. Oh. Before I forget as well, we are putting some lights here. We need lights. Do I do the same lights or do I have like special lights for the entranceway? Let's have a look. Let's see what lights there are. Could just stick a disco ball. <laughs> just be like the whole house is normal and then there's a disco ball in the entranceway. Oh wait, I, oh I could, I could do the sparkly light. The sparkly corner lights. Oh, what if? What if I do? Hold on, let's see how this would look. I stick one of these in each corner. I feel like this would look incredibly silly. Let's just have the two there. And then... If I buy another light switch... Oh no, that's the outdoor light switch. I don't want that one. That's going to be hard to disconnect from everything else. <laughs> this one. This is just one room. Let's duplicate this one. And then this will be the light switch for the lights in here. So we just remove all of those connections and then we connect these instead. And we go boom. Okay, I think this could be okay. I think this could be alright. It's just going to be like a blast of light from over here and this side will be dark, but... I think that can work. I think it'd be good. Oh, it's called a decorative plank. And it just lets you make a, an arbitrarily long plank anywhere at all. Wait, that's great. You can even place it underwater and the game will think you're in a breathable area until you fall off. <laughs> that sounds broken. I love that. I'm guessing it's probably not meant to work like that. But I, I love that. Just, just have a, a decorative plank. Just have... Endless platforms. <laughs> Just make bridges between the whole world. Who needs a raft? Just build your way between islands. Right. Yeah, I think this entranceway is probably done. What do I want to do in here? I should probably think about the layout. Like, what I want the layout to be like in here. See, what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking this corner would be really nice for a kitchen. Lyriel one love. Oh, Mookam! Hello! Thank you for the resub for 13 months! Oh my goodness, past the one year mark now. Thank you so much for using your prime on me. Hello! Welcome, welcome. I'm trying to decide what the heck I want to do with my house at the moment. <laughs> welcome in. I've just been talking about, um... Well, at the moment, it's Minecraft and Raft that are the conversation topics. I, 
I don't know how we ended up. No, I do know how we ended up there. I, I stuck planks on the wall so I could parkour to the top corner to paint things. And then I started talking about how in Minecraft I just build towers of dirt blocks. <laughs> but uh, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my my house in general. Because a little part of me was wondering if it might be nice to have a kitchen here and then have this as like a little storage room. Like just miscellaneous storage, but also like a pantry for food. Maybe also like a utility room, like put some washing machines in here, put like a washer dryer storage room, and then that's close to where the kitchen is to be accessible. And then maybe have like a dining table over here and then have this part as like the, the living room with like sofa and TV and stuff. I think that'd be nice. And then this will be my, my streamer room where I have my, my office set up. This will be a nice um, in-between something kind of room. This will be my bedroom. This will be the bathroom. I think that'll work nicely. Okay, I think I have my plan in mind. I think that's what I want to do. So how do, what kind of kitchen do I want? Because I'm wondering if it might be worth figuring out the furniture first to figure out what walls would go nicely with it. I might do that. Yeah, I got another painting perk point, but I've already unlocked everything. Oh, I got a selling houses perk point. How did I get this? What happened? Okay, so I can either, I can have two buyers to choose from when selling a house, or I can earn more from selling houses. Let's have the two options, because someone's more likely to pay more, as opposed to just having one person who might give a rubbish offer that might be a little bit more but still rubbish I like having more options nice I didn't even realize I had that when did I sell things what <laughs> I don't remember oh someone on YouTube who breaks games ended up making a giant wooden tornado out of their raft <laughs> and then made little tendrils to sequence break all around the islands that is incredible I love when people go to, like, that much effort to, to like, break games. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I want to look that up afterwards. Right, I was looking at kitchen furniture. Let's see, if I go here and... Let's filter by kitchen. And... Cabinets. Let's see what kitchen cabinets I want. I don't think I want anything with like the the carved molding. I think I want something a bit plainer. So probably not these ones. Oh, maybe maybe this set. Maybe the Vanamo set. Yes, yes, I think this set. I think this is what I want to do. Right, the main question here is what colour do I want my kitchen to be? It is a big choice. Do I want it to be pink? Or teal? Or white? Or a combination? Decisions. Oh, what handle? Even down to the handles. I've... That one. I like handle 14. There we go. And let's have a look at the countertops too. There's countertop one, two, three, four. Okay, so three and four are for like kitchen island countertops. And then this one is either like if I want the edge to be curved or flat. I think I like the curve. I think there's enough flat edges in this house. We need to add some more curves. I think I'm doing the, the curved countertop. But uh, I, do, I don't think I want it white. A white countertop is going to show every single tiny little bit of spillage. Oh, I can have a patterned one. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, do I go for a pattern and try and make it look, like, tiled? Ooh. Also, Tuniflo, hello! 
Thank you so much for the reset for 28 months. Oh my goodness. 28. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Kitchen Design. Featuring me. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I think I do want a pattern for the worktop. Oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. If I do this... Oh, that is like really faint. Hold on. No, I need the other color to be the, the bright one. Oh, oh, this is pretty. No, we're not having zebras. Sorry. <laughs> oh, if I do this. Every time I mouse over, I end my mouse here and it just shows the zebras. I, that one. Let me, let me actually see it. There. Th I like this. I like that. Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay, that's, that's the countertop. That's the top we're doing for the counters. Right, how do I now... No, it, it went off. Ah. Oh. Oh, it stayed. It it stayed. It kept it. Okay, thank goodness. I didn't know how to get back to here after I clicked a color. <laughs> but yeah, why is that showing as bright pink? It is very much not bright pink. I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it'll be all right. I'm sure it'll save that. If not, I will simply go back and fix it afterwards. I think my plan here... Once I've designed one of these, I'm simply going to buy the rest of the set and then copy-paste the customization. Because that's going to be way easier than trying to find it individually for each part. But yay. Oh, doing good. Enjoying your bridge day. Bridge day? What do you mean by bridge day, if you don't mind me asking? But uh, I'm glad you're doing good, though. I'm glad you're having a a decent Friday so far. I am also. Right, handles we will make white. Oh, but the white doesn't show up. Let's let's make the handles the same kind of teal to match. Yeah, look at that. Interior can also be white. Details can also be... Oh, this is metal. Custom white metal. There we go. Th this is looking really nice, I think. I like this. Oh, I don't think I want the handles to be glossy. I think we'll go, we'll go matte. I like this. Yeah, this is going to be my kitchen design. There we go. Oh, yesterday was a holiday in some places. Oh, I see. Oh, is it like... Like a bridge... To the weekend? <laughs> oh, there was a regional holiday here yesterday and your boss just gave you the day off. Oh, I guess it makes sense if you're like just coming in for one day and then off again. That's nice, though. That's nice. I, I hope you're enjoying your day off. <laughs> or days off. It's always nice to have a long weekend. I really like this. I like this. There's my kitchen design. Okay, so this is the Vanamo set. I love that I can just click on it and it gives me everything else in the range as well. That's really nice. Okay, let's go for... Yeah, let's have a large sink. Let's have a, a big double sink because we're worth it. I, I always like having the sinks like next to a window because I always imagine like washing the dishes and looking out the window. Feels nice to me. And then have the oven like here. Oh, and then maybe the fridge on the end. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have the oven right next to the fridge. 
I don't know how kitchens work, honestly. <laughs> right, well, I've got the oven. Let's have some cabinets. I want one with lots of drawers to begin with. All of the drawers. Oh, I need to bring this forward a little bit. There we go. Not like in the window. <laughs> Ah, so, uh, Brückentag in German? I may have mispronounced that. That's that's such a cool word, though. But yeah, connecting holidays with the weekend. It makes sense. I, I guess I haven't really heard the term. I guess we don't really have a term for that because most of the time in the UK, if we get a day off, it is a bank holiday. And it's always a bank holiday Monday. So it's always next to the weekend anyway. <laughs> It'd be like any event, it's like, oh, we're having a bank holiday. It's going to be next Monday. Or a Friday. It's it's always a Friday or a Monday. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think... I can't think of any other times when we get, like, a day off in the UK that's not on a Friday or a Monday. I think they usually just go, like... Yeah, if, if if there's a if there's a holiday, it's just like okay, the holiday's gonna be next Monday. The bank holiday Monday traditions. Yeah, we get one Friday, Good Friday. Yeah, I think Good Friday is what I was just thinking of because I was like, wait, Good Friday's a thing. But then, yeah, every other bank holiday's on a Monday. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, this is the specific day, but we're not going to give you a day off until Monday. It's got to be a Monday. I guess it kind of makes sense from a from like a weekend extension kind of reason behind it. Right, boom, boom, look at that. Look at that, made a match. I need to change the sink, but that is okay. I can do that when I've got everything else. Right, what else do I want in my kitchen? I want a dishwasher. Dishwasher can go right next to the sink. We don't have a dishwasher. So whenever I play House Flipper, I'm like, yes, give me the dishwasher, please. Boom. What? Look at that. Alright, what else do I need? I do need a fridge, but I I don't think I want the, the Vanamo cabinet fridge. I want a full fridge freezer, like the, the tall ones. So that will have to be from a different range, I think. They, they don't do tall fridge freezers in the Vanamo range. Oh, but we will need a corner. What kind of corner do I want to do? Do I want to have it like this? Or like this? I, I hate these kind of cupboards, actually. I'm, we're doing it this way. <laughs> Just thinking, like, we've we've got a corner in our kitchen that has this kind of cupboard. And I always find it so finicky to open. It's... It's a little awkward because it's like you open it and it kind of like folds and then it like spins around on the inside. There's like spinning shelves on the inside. I wonder what this one is like actually. I need to buy it just to check. Oh no, that one opens nicely. Oh, never mind. That, that actually opens really nicely, but it's still a little awkward. I don't know. Having like the curved, the curved counters, I think I want to want to go with like this one instead to make it a a little more roundabout a little rounder I think oh no I could just go super round no I'm not going super round it is it, it's in the corner we do this one I have this like here yeah like this and then I find a little one to squeeze in there as well yeah, it's like, it's the same kind of sh shape, but we, we're we not, like, forcing the door into a right angle. <laughs> yeah, I'll get rid of that one. Do, do, do. Noise. Yeah, oh, you have a dishwasher and it is a game changer. Oh, I I can imagine. It's, it's the kind of situation where we, we kind of just don't really have space for a dishwasher in our kitchen. We would have to do so much rearranging and stuff and 
it would be a lot of hassle and also we'd then have to spend money on a dishwasher so we just manually wash our dishes but uh but my friends have a dishwasher and it's every time i visit them i'm just like man i wish we had a dishwasher oh let's have these big drawers look at that oh look how neatly it fits in oh it's so perfect i like the big ones the big deep drawers we can put all the pots and pans in there <laughs> stack them up oh you have like one actual full five day week during may due to three holidays and then don't have anything till october oh so it, it, that's not very spaced out then oh wow i'm i'm trying to think about holidays in the uk now hold on let me let me check my phone calendar <laughs> my phone calendar automatically has all the bank holidays in. Yeah, there was a uh, spring bank holiday was at the start of this week, this Monday. Uh, the next one we have is... Oh, the next one we have is August. <laughs> yeah, the next one we have isn't until August 26th. And then it is the, um, the regional summer bank holiday but apparently that one's only for England, Wales and Northern Ireland and Scotland gets their August bank holiday earlier in the month which I didn't know until now so that's interesting and then the next one yeah then we don't have another one for a while Yeah, we don't actually have as many as I thought we did. I'm looking through my calendar now and it's like, actually, there, there aren't that many bank holidays. It's just because it's all around like Easter May time. Like we, we have like the Easter Monday bank holiday and then we have like a an early May bank holiday and then there's like a a late May bank holiday, which is the, the spring one. And then the summer bank holiday, which is August time. <laughs> but we don't get them for autumn and winter, I guess. But yeah, it's it's like it doesn't affect me either way because I, I don't have like a, a regular nine to five job or anything. So I never really realize when there's a bank holiday unless there's other people talking about having a day off. Also, Zarok, hello. Thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Is it a, a drive by before bed care package? Thank you very much. I'll have a sip of my drink. And a big stretch. Ugh. Stretch my arms out. Oh, my hair's getting in the way again. What is happening? I need to style my hair. I I I just woke up and forgot to brush my hair today, and now <laughs> now I'm paying the price for it. Ah, oh, I had three days of holidays in May, and nothing until October. Oh. Oh, but get International Women's Day as a holiday. That's the best kind of holiday. I love that. Oh, Zarok, you'll be up a little later, but might not be in chat because you've started and become a little obsessed with Forever Skies. What's Forever Skies? What is that? I don't think I've heard of that. At the moment, I'm... Hold on. I'm curious. I cannot type. Forever Skies. Oh, survival game. Oh, first person post-apocalyptic survival game. Oh, this looks intense. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. I hope you have fun with it. <laughs> it's so nice when you start playing a game and you kind of get like hooked into it. It really helps you feel like you're getting your money's worth out of it. But, oh, I hope you have fun with that. Thank you for lurking, though, either way. Happy to... Happy to be your accompaniment while you hopefully survive a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Uh, hello! What what a first-time chat to have. Hello, uh, does this game have toes? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, welcome on in! You are welcome to stay here, so long as you're not weird. 
Like, I, well, not, that's, that's not the best way to word it. Like, I'm, I'm weird. There's nothing wrong with being weird, but uh, don't be, like, uncomfortably weird, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but hi, welcome. Welcome to House Flipper. We've got, uh, paint. And talk about holidays and a kitchen. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to, like, copy the style over. There we go. I need one more to fit in here as well. Between the oven. What kind of cabinet? Do I want, do I want drawers or... We've got cupboards here. What would I put in my imaginary kitchen? I think I have all the storage space I need. Let's just go for more cupboards. Let's have more cupboards. Have these ones. And then I go boop. And I go boop. And then I think we can still fit a fridge here. If it's a narrow one. If not, we could stick it on this end, I guess. But uh, <laughs> I love just like, not weird. Well, I guess I have to go then. Ugh. But ah, oh, it's such a brighter teal than you thought it would be. I love it. I love it so much. It, I, I want the bright. I want the bright colors for the kitchen. It's gonna be so bright and airy and nice. I really love how it's turning out. Right, and I could always have like a kitchen island thing here as well and have little like bar stools to sit next to it and go like that. Oh, I think that would be nice. I, I must... I must test what I have. Let's go for another corner here. I think this would work. I might even like move this. I want to make a bit more space on this side because I do still want to... I want to put a dining table here. But I'd also like to have, like, the little bar kitchen island cabinet kind of thing. Also, thank you for throwing things at me. And also for the hydrate. I will have another sip. Of my Monster Energy Ultra Rosa... Uh, 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 Ultra Rosa. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag monster please sponsor me. Even though you don't sponsor gamers. Missed opportunity. Yeah, I think I think this would be enough space. I think this would be enough space. Oh, now that you're seeing the can on the floor, you know what you have to model. Well, there there are um if if you do Google monster can 3D, there are a few available. <laughs> But yeah, this is the first thing I did. I was like, well, this is going to be my house. Therefore, we need the essentials. But now we now we have a surface to put it on. We have a counter. Oh, perfect. But yes, this is a Leviathan energy. Definitely not inspired by anything else. But, ah, oh, abused decoy, hello! Thank you for the head cat, head, head cat. Oh my goodness, I just cannot speak today, can I? <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of works. I am a cat, but thank you for the head fat. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you'd think gamers would be the perfect audience for energy drinks to sponsor. I think the problem is all of the other energy drinks already sponsor gamers. So Monster were like, well, we can do something different. We're going to sponsor um, motocross racing and motorbikes and extreme sports and also the army, question mark. And they just kind of skipped on the gamer thing. I, I actually went and checked. I went to the Monster website to check their like sponsorship information. And I was like, uh, do you offer sponsorships for gamers? And... Hold on, I need to go find the page again. Because it's the funniest thing. It's just like placeholder text. 
Uh, monster sponsorship opportunities. FAQs are... Where is... Where's the FAQ section? Because I remember reading it and it was just the funniest thing to me. Where is it? Here we go. Sponsorship opportunities. Uh, where can I submit my gaming sponsorship proposal? Yes, Monster sponsors the following games. XXX, like a blank placeholder. If you are interested, you may submit a gaming sponsorship proposal on our contact form. It And and then it's like the next one is just, does Monster sponsor gaming? Yes, Monster sponsors the following games. XXX. It's, it's not even like a game XXX. It's just clearly that is where they put the placeholder, where they actually fill it out and they didn't do it because they don't sponsor any games. <laughs> and the first time I saw that, I was like, okay, I see. <laughs> Why put it there at all then? Exactly. It's it's the, it's so funny. But it, oh, Shy Pie, hello. Who needs to sponsor gamers when you can sue game companies? <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Uh. We sponsor the following games. Lorem Ipsum, Dolores, Sit, Amet. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. But it's really funny because the whole... Like, the sports thing here says... Uh, sponsored sports are surf, skate, snow, ski, BMX, 2 by and 4 by wheel motorsports. Motorsports? Mo motorsports. I can't speak. Uh, please see our sports section for a complete list. Hyperlink to ME 3.0 sports section. It doesn't have the hyperlink. It has text in brackets saying hyperlink to ME 3.0 sports section. They have not done this FAQ section. <laughs> they didn't do it. They just didn't do it. Someone like designed the website, put a bunch of placeholder stuff in, went, hey, fill this out when you get the chance, and they just like published it. They didn't go through it. It's so funny to me. And there's loads of stuff where it's like, there's clearly meant to be like a line break, but there isn't. So it's just like a full stop and then straight into the next word without a space. Because they clearly like copy pasted it in and forgot to do a line break. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, and also if you click, uh, what kind of gaming does Monster sponsor? You click to open it to view the answer and there's just not an answer in there. <laughs> It's an empty section. Hold on, I'm just... I need to link everyone. I... Here's the website. Please check it out for yourself. It is so funny. This is so funny. You just scroll down and click on the sponsorship opportunities and, like, open all the sections. You can see they've just not done this. They just didn't fill it out. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, it is a little bit sad, because I would love to be sponsored by Monster as well, but also, clearly, I don't think they're thinking about sponsorships. <laughs> oh, it's... oh, just incredible. Oh, thank you for the posture check as well, Dima! Hi! Let me have a big stretch. Wow. But no, it's like, if it was the PS2 game BMX XXX, like, it would make sense. But it's not even capitalized, it's just three lowercase x's. Like, they've not filled it out. <laughs> eight. It was clearly an afterthought. Oh, thank you for the eight as well. Oh, I. but yeah, I, I, I fully looked into it because a little part of me was like, I know it's a long shot, but what if I did get sponsored by Monster? And then I saw the website and I was like, you know what? I have better things to spend my time on than try and convince Monster to sponsor me when they clearly don't want sponsors in the first place. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe one day. Yeah, I think this should be enough space for what I want to do. Because what I want to do is... If I now go change style... We can change the countertop to stick out a little bit. Like this. And now we have a, a little a little area here and we could put some bar stools up and have like a little breakfast bar. 
that is the plan at least. Oh, let's have one of these with like the the drawer and the cupboards. Bum, 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 bum. Like that. Yeah, let's just do it up to here. Boom. I think this is a nice kitchen. I'm happy with this. Right, I need a fridge still. I need a fridge. Let's look for a fridge. We're not looking for a Vanamo anymore. We are looking for... Fridge. Okay, I want a tall fridge. This is like the one I had back at the parents' home that I managed to make, like, obnoxiously Barbie dream house. That was quite good. Oh, we could go for a smart fridge. <laughs> Do I go for a smart fridge for like 3,700 when I only have 11,000 in my wallet anyway? Probably not. Let's get this one. <laughs> Just realized I'm going to have to genuinely be thinking about money as I play this. Because I haven't been selling houses, so I don't have much money. I'm going to have to be careful. Also, Brinley, hello! Welcome, welcome, Flipper Friday! Yes, we're not having a family Friday, but it's okay because I'm flipping instead. But uh, welcome, welcome! And, oh, Bob, you're going to move the last items from your old working place to the new one. Head home and do some gaming. VR chat rigging will have to wait. Oh, <laughs> Well, that's fine. It's not going anywhere, at least. But uh, I, hope the, I hope the moving goes well, and I hope you have fun with the video games. I presume video games any games. I hope you have a good gaming time. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in. Oh, I could I could play Grand Blue Fantasy on the smart fridge. You're so right. God, there was that whole thing about the, the person who was doing like... Was it like Guild Wars stuff? And they ended up having to do it through a fridge? Because they had no other way of accessing Grand Blue? I may be thinking of something else. I don't know. Grand Blue players are dedicated. Right, that, oh, that lines up. That actually lines up so perfectly, I think. I think we're good. Although I don't know if I want a little bit of space. Maybe I get a smaller cabinet for here. <laughs> and move it down a bit. I think I will. I don't want it to be right at the edge. It feels a bit too much if it's like right at the edge. What was the brand called? Vanamo. Because they do them at like a half width as well. Yeah, like that. It's just just to give it enough space to breathe. Like that. I'm going to move these over as well. I, I don't want the oven to be directly next to the fridge. Let's have a, a counter between them. Yeah. And then one more counter to go here as well. And that's hold on. No, that doesn't quite work. Okay. We keep this one. We need to find another one to fit in here. What size is that? Is that this size? Okay, yeah, this size fits. Let's let's just get another one of these. Let's do... Let's do it with the two... Drawers. Oh, no, that's too big. I want to do it with the two big drawers. Okay. Oh, does it, does it not come with the two big drawers in this size? Oh. That's a shame. How about just one big cupboard then? We'll just go. There we go. Just one large cupboard. To replace the two smaller ones. Goodbye. And then I copy the style. Boom. Yeah, this is looking nice. It's looking nice. Oh, today you'll do things for democracy. Oh, have fun with Helldivers then. <laughs> Hope you have a good time. Oh, speaking of energy drinks, you currently have a Levi Roots one. 
I've not seen those before. I don't know what those are like. It's not the best. <laughs> I guess I, I maybe won't look out for it then. <laughs> but I, I don't tend to try other energy drinks. I, I found my monster and I like it, so I, I don't try new ones. I don't really look at what there is. I found my favorite and I stick with it. It's nice. Oh, we should make a, a fridge heat sink exhaust that goes into the oven so it's always a little warm in there. <laughs> Never mind, actually, that sounds like a mold incubator. Yeah, I was going to say that it's, it's a cool concept. It's a cool idea, but I think it would just become a bacteria breeding ground. <laughs> It's like, I'm pretty sure that the point of the oven is not to, like, have it warm. It's the fact that it, like, gets very hot to cook things and also kill off bad things that may grow. No, actually, the oven is there to ov oven the cold food, of out, hot, eat the food. <laughs> oh, yeah. This game's getting too realistic. The stuff you want is never available in the correct size. It's always the way. Although this one has already been so much nicer for making things fit than the first house flipper was. Like, it, it feels so satisfying making everything line up nicely in this. It, it, it works. I kind of want something to like, I wonder if there's like an end, something I could use as an end piece that would look good. Like, what is this? Hmm. Like, if I could get a cabinet, but it's got, like, something on the end. Or just the curvy? What would the curvy look like? <laughs> I want to see if this would look decent. If I did this, oh no, it like it makes the design small. Oh, that's no good. No, never mind. That that doesn't work for what I want. Then it was worth the try. Oh, Rockstar Blueberry's your favorite. I see. I've I've not tried a lot of Rockstar flavors. Maybe I should try them at some point. Have a have a taste session like for for monster energy flavors and also other energy drinks. Maybe I would find a new favorite. I don't think I would, but maybe. Ah, oh, you were a rock star fan for a while, but you don't drink energy drinks anymore. Doesn't mix well with ADHD stimulants. Ah, oh, I see. That's really interesting for me though because I have ADHD medication as well, but I don't really notice. A difference having monster with it as well but that's all like everyone's brain is different so it everyone's brain reacts differently to things but yeah it's it's something that i realized a lot like before i was diagnosed with adhd when i was looking into it and i saw loads of accounts they were all like well a lot of people tend to self-medicate with caffeine and i just kind of looked at my monster and i was like oh oh suddenly a lot of things make a lot of sense. But uh, I also don't drink more than one can a day, though. And I don't drink it every day. So I'm not having, like, loads and loads of caffeine. It'd be like like if I had a coffee in the morning and then not for the rest of the day. Ah, oh, for you, it makes your heart want to explode if you do both. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, whatever's best for you. Like, if you're... If you're at that point, then it's not nice to have caffeine, so you probably shouldn't. It makes sense. But yeah, it doesn't really affect me. I'm very lucky with my heart. It doesn't... It doesn't make my heart, like, beat super fast or anything. Hold on, how, how fast is my heart going? How can I check my pulse? I'm trying to check my pulse and I don't know how. Maybe I just don't have one. Maybe I'm not actually alive. So it's like the neck, the wrist. What else is there? I can't actually like feel 
my heart rate. I, I wanted to like narrate my heart rate. <laughs> and I can't even feel it. This is not a good start. Oh, oh, oh. I think I almost found it in my neck for a second. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. I have no idea if that's a healthy rate or not, but that's how my heart is beating at the moment. That that was, it took me a while to feel my pulse there. I was just kind of like stabbing myself in the neck. Like where the heck is this? <laughs> But yeah, I, f I feel like my heart rate is generally pretty stable. I'm I'm very lucky in that regard. I've I've never had like problems with my heart. Although my heart does beat super fast if I get uh, surprised by something. Like if I get shocked or jump scared, that makes my heart start thumping away. And also like if I'm doing like a playing a game or something and there's suddenly a timed sequence and it gets into like adrenaline mode, that makes my heart pump really fast. But yeah, I have I have just like a very very gentle heart rate most of the time. I wish I had like one of those heart rate monitors that I could equip and show my heart rate. It'd be interesting. Ah, uh, you did just have blue Pepsi though, and that was great. Oh, I've not tried that. Uh, you've drunk like set five cans of energy drinks your whole life, and every time you want to go for one, all the sugar-free stuff sold out. Oh no! See, that, that's why I, I love the the Ultra series of Monster, because it's all the, the zero sugar, zero calorie ones. And they're very nice. Oh, 72-ish? Oh, that, that seems like a... normal. That seems normal to me. Yeah, I think that was about my BPM. Nice! Yeah, I think that's like a reasonable pace for a heart. Yeah. I managed to feel it. I, I can actually feel my pulse better if I just put my palm on my chest. Like I'm about to start like saying the national anthem or something. Hold on, where was the spot? There. I keep breathing and losing it. Where's my heart? Where's my heart? No, I've lost it. I can't find it again. That's a shame. <laughs> I want to measure my pulse at some point, though. I'm, I'm really curious now. Right, anyway, I really like how this kitchen's come along. I'm happy with this. Do I want, like, high-up cabinets? I don't think I do. Let's let's try and find some bar stools. Let's try and find some nice seats. All right, let's filter by kitchen again. Seats. Yeah, something like this. Something like this would work really well. So if we make the base uh, white. And then the seat can be... <gasps> we could do the quilted fabric and then it kind of matches. We've got like the geometric style. Oh, that looks nice. This looks really nice. I like this. I like this. Boom. Boom. Yes, I like this a lot. We got three of them because because I put three down now. I guess we have three of them. <laughs> also, Grace Snow, hello. Yes. Flipping Tuesdays are back. Um, Flipping Friday. <laughs> It is not quite Tuesday yet. That is reserved for twofold Tuesdays. 
But welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Oh, you use your smartwatch to keep an eye on your heart rate. I see. I don't have a smartwatch either, though. I don't even own a watch. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to get one of those heart rate monitor things. I think it would be really interesting. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll put one on my throne. I'll have to look into that after the stream, because that could be quite entertaining, I think. Also, Lynn Starfall, hello as well. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. I'm just designing my kitchen at the moment. Right, I think we go for a tiled floor. I want floor tiles. So we go surface finishes and tiles. What would look nice as kitchen floor tiles? Oh, see, these are too colorful. But, like, I, I want something with, like, the kind of geometric pattern, but I don't think we're going to get that. I could just go for this one. No, that's what I used in the bathroom. Maybe this. If I make it a bit bigger. Ooh. Ooh, maybe like this. And I think I'd want it to be like teal-ish. But not... Like dark. I want it to be a lighter shade. How would this look? I think this would work. I think this would work. Uh, oh boy, this is the kind of game you design your ideal home in. Well, guess what I'm doing? <laughs> I am designing my ideal home. I bought, I bought my new office, and by office I mean an entire house. <laughs> and I'm, I'm designing my own house at the moment. I think this would be a nice... I should have done the floor before I put the furniture down, but it's okay. Mistakes were made. I may have to move some cabinets out. That's okay. I can do that. Oh, do we even have enough cash to finish this house? No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not, but I'm going to see how much I can do. I'm going to do as much as I can until I run out of money, and then I will desperately find a job to do and or buy a house to sell. Or just... Or just sell the house that I literally have already bought. That's probably a better idea. If I do up the house I bought before this one and sell that, that'll be a nice a nice chunk of cash in my wallet. That's probably what I should do. But I think they have actually added another job to do, like in collaboration with like the floor is lava or something. Yeah, we got two jobs here. Yeah, for, from the game floor is lava. Oh, that's a new one as well. I haven't seen this one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's finish up with the kitchen area. It's like paint the walls a bit. And then let's job. Let's job. Why? Do, hmm. I think I'm going to go white walls. I think I'm doing all of this as white walls. I'm going to be boring. But yeah, we are running very low on money. <laughs> so I do need to get some more money. So that's, it's probably a good idea to do a job. Then along here. And I make it smaller for this little bit. There we go. Now let's do the inside of the door frame. And down here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was really, really stuttering there. Oh, I ran out of white. I'm going to have to buy some more white paint. Oopsie. But oh, nearly bankrupting yourself furnishing a house. This really is too real. <laughs> no, it's okay though, because I can, I can simply sell a house and I'll be okay again it's it's like it's like the opposite of real life because I can buy not just one house but multiple houses and earn money in an easy way 
Right, let's buy let's buy some more white paint. Oh no, I don't want to copy style. There we go. Find in store. Thank you. There we go. Got more paint. Time to keep painting the walls. That all the way down. I really should be moving the furniture before I do this. But I've simply decided not to. It's okay. It's still getting painted. I think I should have possibly masked this out. I don't know if I've accidentally painted out here. No, I haven't. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. But I think for the rest of it, I should probably play it safe a bit. And I'll do this. There, now it will only paint in the lines. I can't even see where the roller is, but that's okay. I can still paint. There we go. Yeah, look at that. This is a nice, nice kitchen area, I think. I might add some tiles or something to the walls because it is very plain at the moment. It's very... Very nothingy. Oh, but if I if I start adding like shelves and decorations and stuff, that's gonna give the wall some character anyway. So I think it should be okay. And then I need to decide what to do with this wall. I might actually go blue. Go for like the teal for this area. Cause this is gonna be like where I put my dining table. This is gonna be my little dining room. By room, I mean sectioned off part of the house. But yeah. And then maybe the this bit at the top as well. Might look nice. And uh... Yeah, let's do the... Oh, 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 it, oh it's stuck. I, I can't move it, okay. I was too close. I was too close to the door frame. <laughs> and we go like that. And we go like that. Yeah. And I could maybe extend it out a little bit more, just like to outline the door frame a bit. Uh, in before I miss a single corner and once I move the cabinets, an unpainted piece of wall just laughs at me. It's okay. I know for a fact that I've missed floor tiles back here. Yeah, look at that. Like, I, I know that I have. I was simply not thinking about it. But uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not just gonna leave it as it is. I need to make sure everything is done properly. Oh, actually, I think I did a decent job. Huh. Yeah, I did a pretty good job of that. All right, let's check here. Yeah, I just need to bring this in this direction a little more. Oh, I got myself stuck in the wall. Oh no. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm stuck in the wall. Oh, I'm free. <laughs> I had to crouch to get out of the wall. I, I just, I don't know how I did that. It's okay, I'm free. I'm free to lay floor tiles now. Boom. I am going to have to move these if I want all of these tiles to be done properly. Right, let's move this back first. Hold on. Oh, it's that corner! I was like, why does this suddenly not fit where it's supposed to? It's because I was looking in the, the wrong part of the house for where I put it. This is the corner I'm looking for. <laughs> ah, there we go. And then the little one. 
Oh no, is it the middle one? Sink goes in front of the window. Yeah, it's this one and the little one, and then the sink. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And then this one. And then it's this interesting corner. Oh, but it's sticking out both ways now, so I can't place it back. Unless I clip it through. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy style where it's not sticking out. No, I just sold it by accident. <laughs> I just sold it. It's okay, we'll just duplicate this one. We go boo doo doo Pop that in place. And now we copy the style of this. There we go. It's it's clipping through this wall now. The reason I couldn't put it back is because when I changed the style, I made it start clipping through the wall here. Okay, we're gonna have to put a bush or something here <laughs> to hide that. <laughs> I'll have to like hide it with something. I'll just put some plants there or, or like some cool rocks to cover it up. But uh, there we go. We're good. We're fine. There we go. Now I'll move these to, m yes, one tiny, tiny bit of floor. Boop. Perfect. Perfection. And thus the walls and floor are completed without gaps. Feels good. <laughs> She'll love a house where you have to move to cr crouch to move around. Oh, only if you only if you embed yourself in the wall. It's it's not a usual problem to have. <laughs> oh, and Jace, hello, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Welcome to House Flipper. I'm designing my dream house and slowly running out of money. I'm, I'm gonna have to do a job soon. <laughs> I only have 6,600 left. But I really love this kitchen. I'm happy with the kitchen. Oh, I could put a bin here. Oh. Bin. Tra trash bin. one like I wish this one had a foot pedal I want one with a foot pedal but it doesn't seem like there is one so I guess we'll go with this one yeah, yeah there we go bin bin and we've got so much storage space in here. I don't even have to enough stuff to store in these. <laughs> but I really like this. I like how my kitchen stand out. It's nice. Yeah, I think adding some tiles to this would make it really nice. I'll think about that afterwards though. Yeah, I'm gonna extend the, the teal by like two. Just to make like a frame for the doorway. Or maybe even just one actually. Yeah, like that. And then that indicates the split between like the door and the door frame and the living space. Like this. Oh, going good. Just getting ready for Conde. <gasps> You're going to be at Ofkai? Are you going to be at Ofkai? Hee hee hee. Also, yeah, this game is so good. I've. Uh, well, I, I'm i definitely a little bit biased because uh, the first House Flipper is my most streamed game. Full stop. Like, even after playing Baldur's Gate 3 for eight months, uh, House Flipper is still my most streamed game. <laughs> but uh, House Flipper 2 is it's such a joy. It's just like they've taken all of like a bunch of the stuff that made House Flipper 1 a little bit near and fixed them. And it's, it's so fun. Like, there's so much creative freedom. I love it. I love it so much. Ah, uh, yes, go to Ofkai! <gasps> yeah, that's so exciting! Oh, if you are, if you're around at 2pm uh, t 
today. If, if you're around Ofkai at 2 p.m. today, look out for an Ofkai staff member carrying an iPad around because that will be me. <laughs> it will be me. I'm going to be gently escorted through Ofkai at 2 p.m. in iPad form. So I'll get to like see people and say hi. So if, if you see me, please say hi. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited for it. Oh, Lynn Starfall, you're going to Nurgberg Ring tomorrow? Oh, what's that? Afraid I don't know what that is, but I hope you have fun with it. But yes, Jay's OMG might get to meet me. Yeah, I'm going to be... I'm having a an iPad tour of Ofkai. It starts at 2 p.m. And then I'll be heading back to be uh, booted from the convention at half past two. So I'll be around for half an hour and I'm going to be wandering the halls <laughs> so yeah hopefully you can catch me hopefully you can meet up with me at some point i think i'm mostly going to be wandering the vendors room i want to look around all of the vendor room and see what people are selling and stuff but yeah i'm really looking forward to that though i'm excited to virtually visit the convention it's gonna be fun and ah uh, oh lynn it's the longest racetrack in the world there's a 24 hour race there starting tomorrow. That's so cool. That sounds so cool. Oh, I hope you have so much fun with that. Wow, 24 hour race. Is it like the same races or is it like people tagging in and out? Uh, oh, also you, hello. Hello, this just in, Catgirl flips houses. Well, I've, I've kind of flipped a kitchen at the moment and embedded myself in a wall. <laughs> but hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Flippy Times. I've got a paint roller and I don't know what I'm doing with it. But, oh, that's so cool, though. Also, Jack, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you can misspell it a hundred different ways and people will still know which track you're talking about. Yeah, see, the problem with me is I, I know nothing about racing. So <laughs> even even like the most common things, it'll be like, oh, here's this thing that everyone knows about. And I probably won't know about it, <laughs> knowing me. <laughs> My blissful ignorance. I'll just be like, oh, cool. What's that? But I love finding out more. I'll be like, I have no idea what that is. Please, please tell me. Also, like, the more I look at these swatches, the more a little part of me is like, what if I did this as... as a wall design? Like, what I'm thinking at the moment is, what if I... do something like this... as my wall design? Because I kind of really like how it looks, just as the swatches. And I could just have a little stripey wall. Oh, I ran out of I ran out of teal paint. Hold on. Get some more teal paint. We'll go like this. Like this. Am I making a trans house? No, I, if, if I was going trans house, I'd need like a paler blue, I think. This is more like the teal, teal shade. I'm just going like Liri color scheme, but it is very close. And oh, that's actually something I want to do next month too. Because with June being Pride Month, one thing I did back when I started streaming was in the first house flipper, I bought a house and I made it Pride House. And I just decorated every room in a different color. I'd love to do that again in House Flipper 2. Like, I'll make house, uh, Pride House 2 electric boogaloo. I think that would be a really fun project. I'll have to do that. But yeah, at the moment I'm just working on my own house. I ran out of the light pink as well. Wait, no, I bought more. I bought more over here. We're fine. But I like the stripes. Yeah, I actually just really like how this looks. 
I originally just put them up as random paint swatches, but it actually looks really nice. Oh, and it's like, it, it, it's the perfect amount to... It actually measures up perfectly. Oh. Oh, I might even make it squares. I've got an idea for a design now. Eight. Jim. I have an idea. I have a design idea. We'll see how it goes. It may not work. But it is my idea. Eight. Also, Timachi, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Get to meet Larry today! Yes, I'm gonna be at Ofkai. I'm excited. Also, Noi, thank you so much for the resub! The 39 months? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I nearly missed it because there's just so many alerts happening in chat at the moment. <laughs> but thank you so much for the 39 months! Hi, I hope you're doing well! Also, Gil, hello! How goes the house flipping? I think it's going pretty well. Uh, I'm I'm very, very quickly running out of money. But that's okay. I shall simply earn more. But uh, this is my idea for my house at the moment. And I hope it turns out nice. My current idea. Also, thank you for the automaton redeem. I'm gonna do that in a second once I've done my squares. Yeah, making it like a like a a patchwork kind of thing. And ah, uh, boo boo boo. Oh, thank you for the automaton serenade redeem. Oh my goodness, Riser Raid comes in. <laughs> oh heck yes. Hold on. Hi Raiders. Hi Raiders, welcome, welcome! Oh goodness me, I'm falling over. Hello everyone, welcome on in! How is it going? Welcome to the stream! You joined at a good time. <coughs> Hi Raiders, to anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And I also... play the automaton. <laughs> We just got to redeem. So I'm going to play the automaton. But uh, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. You, I, I feel like this is the best introduction to me that there is. Welcome in. Oh, and thank you for all of the follows too. Here we go. Hold on. I need to... Uh, I need to mute the game. Hold on. Be gone, game music. This is important times. Very serious music times. Here we go. Thank you for the Atomatoon redeem. That was such beautiful timing for a redeem. But thank you for the raid too, and thank you for all of the follows too. Welcome in. Welcome aboard. Welcome to a, a little bit of comfy house flipping at the moment. I am currently trying to do a house for myself in my favorite colors. And I do have a plan in mind for the wall. I've done half of it. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for bringing the rain. Oh, the music's still off. Hold on. Put the music back. There we go. Have the gentle background music. Was it? It was. It was indeed the victory fanfare at the end. I just <laughs> stuck it on the end. But yeah, thank you for the raid. And if you have to head off after your stream and go get some rest or food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you want to, um, I got a kitchen. <laughs> I've got a kitchen and a wall. 
and the house is slowly growing. But yeah, thank you for bringing the raid this way. And welcome on in anyone who decides to stick around and join me while I try and figure out what I'm doing. Okay, and then the next one is the light pink. And then, and then the last one's the white. Okay, I think this has worked. Hold on. Yes. Second guessing myself then for... No, I think... I, I haven't quite done this how I wanted to. I miss... I misdid some of them. I put some of them in the wrong place. I, this should be white. And the other one should be pink. Okay. This one should be pink. There we go. Yeah, it's not quite the effect I was imagining in my head, but I quite like it. I like my, my square wall. I wish I wish it was more even. I wish I could have like had the full squares at the bottom, but this'll do. I think it'll look nice, especially when I start putting furniture in here as well. I think it'll be good. But also, Sci-Fi Baby Seal, hello! Welcome, welcome! Will I be seeing you at Off Kai later? I, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, if, you're, if you're gonna be at Off Kai, I'm going to be there virtually at 2pm. Uh, 2pm Pacific time. I'm gonna be wandering around in iPad form. I, I'm not sure who's going to be escorting me. It, it's going to be a member of Ofkai staff. So if you see an Ofkai staff member going around with an iPad at around 2pm, it might be me. Stop by and say hi. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. I love that I get the chance to go on a virtual tour. Like, even though I'm in the UK, I can still... I can still go and visit. I, I think it's really cool. It's a really cool opportunity. Yeah, that is like, th this is a lot. Hmm. I kind of want to do like a proper like plate design, but I don't know how that would work. I think I'd have to get rid of the, the teals if I did that, but I, I bet I could. I'm gonna go through everything again. I'm gonna undo all of the good work I just did. Because I've had an idea. And I think I know how to do it. I think I know how, how it would work. I think what I have to do is if I have the vertical stripes as white, and then horizontal ones is pink, and then where they meet, that'll be the lighter pink, then I think that will work. But then I need another color for the background. Right, I'm just gonna try like this and see if it looks good. Plop, plop. And just splat, splatting it all on. And splat. And then the light pink. It would be here. Yes. 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 Oh, and then the, the teal ones, I just make the light pink. I think this is, yes. Oh, oh I think this is gonna look really nice. Ah. Oh, oh, no, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, I think this is gonna be good. Go like that. 
That's what I was- that's what I was hoping for. That's what I was aiming for. I did it. We have a played wall. Ah! I'm so happy with that! This has turned out so nicely. I love that! That's so pretty! Oh, oh, I'm happy now. Oh, I am so happy with that. The comfy living room. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, in before Rat escorts me. Oh, I'd love if she could, but yeah, I think she's going to be super, super busy. It's probably going to be... Uh, I've forgotten... Hold on, I forget every staff member's name. Let me check. It's probably probably going to be Nines. Because Nines is the like the, the robot lead of Ofkai. And like my my robot, quote unquote, is the only one that's like not self-controlled. Like I don't have one of those little robots that can like roam around the convention that you can drive. Partly because I didn't even apply for them because I I was scared to have damage power. <laughs> I, I feel like I just crashed into a wall or something. But also because, um, what was I doing? I've, I've lost my train of thought. Where was it going? Oh yeah, but also, also because I just like the idea of a little iPad journey. I like the thought of being carried around, just like, escort me, please. Please carry me to my destination. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know who's going to actually be carrying me, but it's one of the official off Guy Expo tours. So it's going to be a member of Ofkai staff, or like a volunteer for Ofkai. So I think they're going to have the, like, they usually have, like, the specific shirts. So yeah, if you look out for those and you see someone with an iPad at 2pm, it might be me. <laughs> it might be me. I hope people can meet me. But uh, also, it's not just limited to today, though. Like, if anyone does miss me today... I'm going to be around at the Studio Elan Verpro panel on Saturday. And that is at 4 p.m. PST in um, one of the rooms. I don't know which one. Please uh, check the, the, the convention program, I guess. <laughs> but I'll be there too, and I'll be able to see the room. So that's another opportunity to, to meet people. Because it's going to be a very, very relaxed panel. It's a very casual thing. Like, there's the Studio Elan announcements that are like the main part of the panel and then the rest of it is just us like chilling out it's gonna be very relaxed but fun and i'm really looking forward to it but yeah i hope i get to meet a bunch of people it's part of what i want to do the most I'm, I'm really excited at the thought of being able to roam around and see people and be like hi hope you're having a good convention hello fancy seeing you here Oh, I'm so proud of how this turned out. I'm so glad this turned out how I wanted it to. I I still wasn't sure until I was putting the last few dots in, and then I was like, no, it, it's working. It's working how it should. I'm so glad. Yeah, if nothing else, there are a few leery old charms wandering around the con. There's going to be some new charms as well. There's going to be the, the new Verpro charms. Uh, if anyone stops by the Studio Elan booth, uh, it's booth O. I know that much. Uh, in the vendor's room, it's uh, booth O. And it's also right next to Studio Nekomata at booth P. O and P. The, it's, it's like, that's, that's, that's the Yuri corner. That's the, that's the gay corner. <laughs> But uh, there's going to be new Verpro charms there, and mine is me with a with a dinosaur nugget, and it's the cutest thing. It's really cute. <laughs> but yeah, I really I really love the new merch and how it turned out. So many of these are empty. I should get rid of them. Be gone. Empty paint cans. Okay, that's still got a little bit in. There we go. I need to get more of the light pink I think but yeah I love how this is turning out so far also Akira thank you so much for the hydrate and posture check too I will have a big stretch and sit up straight and I will have a sip of my monster 
Whew. But uh, thank you, and thank you for the head pat too. But yeah, this is turning out really nicely. Right, the main question now is what kind of floor do I want? Because before I started this, I was thinking I would just go for like white floorboards. But part of me kind of wants a carpet now. I kind of, I kind of want a nice plush carpet floor. I don't know what section that would be under though. It's like we've got panels and tiles. But no, but no, like, I guess maybe I, I could use the wallpaper as a floor. Oh no, here, oh, carpet, oh, fluffy, fluffy carpet, suede carpet, burlap carpet, car carpet, carpet, pet, knitted fabric carpet. We're going with the fluffy carpet. I want to see how this looks. It might look really bad and I just replace it, but I like the idea of fluffy carpet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, even if I just do the fluffy carpet in the, the living area. Oh, it's so plush. I love this. I love this. Also, Ube, hello. Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Hello to another Ofkaya! <laughs> How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Good morning! Welcome on in. I'm, I'm currently decorating my house. Yeah, okay, I love this. I love this. I'm not doing the whole house with this because it would be far too much. But I love this for the living area. And then I think we go floorboards for the rest. We got like wooden floorboards in painted wood. Uh, which type of floorboards? These ones. Right, I don't know how big this is. I want it to be quite big, but not like the biggest. Let's let's see. Let's test it. That's too big. That's too big. Okay. Not that big. Let's try three. That's still a bit too big. I think we're going to. I think we go to. I'm gonna change the style of both of these to be size two and then I think two will work well let's try this no I don't uh, there right two yeah that's more like it that's that's the size of floorboard I want and this will just be the rest and I'm just gonna use the carpet to create rugs <laughs> that's my plan for the rest of the house now Oh, everyone's still getting ready. Oh, is is there like a a time you have to pick up the badges, or or is it just a case of waking up and not wanting to get up too early? Although I say that, it's it, it's pretty early, isn't it? It's like eight eight o'clock in the morning. It's pretty early. Oh, so badge pickup opens in an hour. Yes, time to. Time to Eight. buy time and relax. Eight. Eight. It is. Eight. In the morning. <laughs> but yes, come come join me. Come join me while you wait for the the registrations to open. Eight. I'm putting floorboards down. It's a good time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to to visit Ofkai later. It's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna go on a little iPad tour. I don't know exactly where I'll be allowed to go on the tour. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed in like the panel rooms and stuff, which makes a lot of sense. But I need to double check what the limitations are because I, I don't know where I'm gonna be going on my tour. I guess I will I will find out soon. <laughs> but I'm I'm looking forward to it. I really wanna meet people. Like the main thing I wanna do is I just wanna wander around and talk to people. I just wanna find people and go, hi, how's it going? How is the convention? 
It's like the main reason I signed up was because I was just like, I just want to say hi to people. I just want to meet people. And I, and I got a spot, so I'm very, very much looking forward to that. Ba, 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 ba. Pay more. I really like these floorboards. Look, this, oh, just walking in here and seeing it like this, it's finally actually starting to look like a home now. It's, it's starting to look like how I kind of was imagining it in my head. It's, it's. It's so nice seeing the progress from just the the concrete grey squares that I had to end up here. It's coming along so nicely. I love it. I love this. Why do I even still have these concrete tiles and stuff? I should probably get rid of them. <laughs> I'm not going to be making anything grey here. Closest I'm getting to grey is these floorboards, which are still very clearly white. Do I have enough? I do have enough. Okay. Yay! Downstairs has floor. Oh, here too. Boop. Okay, the downstairs of my house officially has floors now. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, do I like do the windows as well? Do I do I have the flooring? Hmm. I don't know. I don't like the fact that that then means that there are floorboards on the outside. I think I may paint that pink to match the walls. I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna paint it. Oh, I need to buy some more pink. Okay. But yeah, I think I want to... Because I, I painted the bottom here in pink. So I think I want to do that for all of the windows to, to make them consistent. Where's the... Uh, boop. And boop. Oh, I don't like how that shadow's flickering. <laughs> Get me out of here. Also, Lanzo and hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in. How's it going? Welcome to my house. Which I am making really good progress on finally. I also only have 4,500 monies left. So I think I should probably do a job. I said I was going to do a job after I did the kitchen. And then I proceeded to make this plaid wall. <laughs> oh my goodness. I. Yeah, you know what? Let's do a job. Let's do one of these new jobs. Right, this is the one for the floor is lava that was added in the last update. I think one of the last updates. I don't know what this one is. But this one also sounds really nice. I think I want to do this job. Oh, had a nap, so going good. Oh, glad to hear it. The power of a, a good nap. I'm going to be having a nap later as well. <laughs> After my stream, I'm going to have my stream. I'm going to have dinner. And then I'm going to have a power nap before I go on my off-kai tour. <laughs> because I, I didn't sleep much last night. But it's okay, I don't need sleep. I'm, I'm fueled by monster energy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do definitely need some more money at this point. But uh, this looks like a really nice job though. Oh, thank you for the hydrate as well, Dima. I will have a sip. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag please sponsor me. Monster energy with your terrible website. Anyway, this job is healthier lifestyle for a change. All oh, the irony is I'm downing a can of monster. And <laughs> hey, my sister Carol and I want to change some of our habits. I've read that you should start with your surroundings for that. So we want to turn a spare room into a small gym. We'd like to spend more time in the garden as well, but it's gotten so overgrown. Oh, and this time we totally plan to keep our houseplants alive. I see. <laughs> I also want to have a cosy reading nook. I even have some books I've been meaning to unpack for ages. And Carol wants to learn to cook, so she's asking for new kitchen equipment. Thanks a lot, Nico O. This sounds like a really nice one. 
Sounds like a really nice job. I think I want to do this. Also, thank you for the door knock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know there's there's loads of sponsorships for like streamers and gamers and stuff. But I I wouldn't want to pick up one of those because I I just drink monster. I it would be I would feel like I was cheating if I got like an energy drink sponsorship for a brand that's not monster. Everyone would just know I'm a fraud. <laughs> But no, I just like monster. Anyway, let's do this job. I think this is gonna be nice. Making a, a gym and a reading nook. A cozy cozy reading nook. I think it'll be nice. <laughs> Something looks different. Did I have glasses before? I, I still have glasses. I have my glasses. I just take them off sometimes. <laughs> But, uh, I guess I'm keeping them on. <laughs> Thank you for the glasses, Redeem Jack. Yeah, like this. I got glasses. Oh, and my, my hair's being ruffled up as well. Thank you for the, the hair change and glasses. I like the thought of you just smooshing my glasses on my face. Like, yeah, you do wear glasses. Put them on. Stop damaging your vision. Silly cat. <laughs> But uh, thank you for the redeems. But yeah, I do have glasses, but uh, I can take them off if I if I so choose to. Or other people can take them off my face as well. <laughs> but yes, the glasses are... Glasses are an optional thing. They can be taken on and off. But yeah, and water guide, hello, welcome. Flipping houses like we're flipping burgers. I've I've never flipped a burger in my life. I've never cooked burgers. Right, what are we doing out here then? I need to buy stuff. Right, what are we buying? <gasps> plants! Oh, I need to sell. I need to sell all of these plants and then buy new flowers. Okay. Right, what are we getting rid of? Oh, the dead ones. <laughs> okay, it makes sense we're getting rid of the dead plants. So we can replace them with alive ones. Oh yeah, they're, they're not looking great. Yeah, I, I don't know why I... I was worried about figuring out which ones. Oh, there's... They didn't even throw this away too. What the heck? It's right here. The bin is right here and they just put it next to it. Oh, it's okay. That's what I'm here for. And then I guess we're getting rid of these. Clean this place up a little bit. Oh, we're keeping that one. But not this one. Oh, I, I forgot I have my spidey sense. Spidey senses, we're getting rid of these. Boop. Yeah, it's like one of the things about this game compared to the first house flipper. Uh, the first house flipper has a little mini map. And I really miss the minimap. I really liked the minimap a lot. But this one instead has added like flipper vision, like spidey senses. And so when you have a certain like tool out, it will like show up everything that you need to do for that job, which is very handy. And it means you don't really need the minimap as much as you might do if it wasn't a thing. But I, I did like the mini map. I miss it. What else? What else am I selling? No, we're keeping these. Keeping these? What are we not? What are we not keeping? I don't know what else I have to sell out here. Hold on. Tree. What tree is it? It's not that one. Tree? This tree? This tree? This tree! Oh, it's it, it's right here. There we go. Tree! Ah, uh, I need to flip a burger at least once in my life. I'll probably try it at some point. I just don't tend to eat burgers. I'm not the biggest fan of beef, to be honest. 
If I have burgers, I tend to go for like chicken burgers. Ah, oh, bin may have been full, but the rules state trash next to the bin won't be collected. Oh, it might be. It might be that it was full and they went, oh, we'll put that out afterwards and then forgot about it. Because that's what I would do. <laughs> right, is that all the... I think that might be all the rubbish. That's nice. Um, boop. What else is there? Okay, yeah, now it's just uh, buy new flowers and new plants. We've got some little bushes to begin with. Oh, I think these would be nice over here. Have these over here. Like that. 12 of these. Where am I putting the crocuses? I want them, I want them here. I'm, I'm just going wild with the flowers. I've got tulips. Oh, I'm just kind of smooshing everything in here. <laughs> Daffodils! This is the flower bed now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kind of dropping them. Any, any florist would probably cry if they saw me doing this. This is my perfect flower arranging. They are definitely professionally arranged in here. Boom. Actually, I do think it looks quite nice. <laughs> Especially if I like... Like that. And then we're buying two of these bushes and these can go along the side. Okay, maybe move it a little that way. Like that? Yeah, I like that. I like my I like my chaos flower garden. Also, thank you for the lurk too. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for stopping in and for the raid again as well. Boop boop boop. This is very chaotic. Try to make it slightly more spaced out, at least. Like... Fill the space a bit more. Move the red to here. And then maybe a couple more purple ones. Like one for here? Yeah, that'll do. That's a, that's a flower bed. That's a, a very neat, well-organized flower bed, I think. <laughs> oh, and path lights. Oh, we're buying some lights. Okay, so I'm thinking corner. 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 Oh, do I do them like on, on the tile actually? On the tile might look nicer. I can't put that where I want to because there's a bush in the way. That's okay. I'll just have it in line here. Boom. Yeah, I'm going to put them on, on the tiles. There we go. Oh, I might actually move this as well. Have this like near the bins. So if you if you're trying to navigate to the bin, there's a light <laughs> leading the way. <laughs> Pop it there. There we go. Now I'm putting it in the corner. There we go. That'll do. Okay, we've got everything for down here. Let's. This is the the little outside balcony bit. Oh, we're just adding a we're just adding a table and chairs. That's cute. Put that there. Put that there. Add a little table between them. Oh, it's so nice. 
Oh, what a lovely place to sit and just watch the world go by. Just like that. Also, Potato Sure, hello! Oh, and Tilde as well, hello, welcome, welcome! Sorry, I missed your messages, I'm getting so distracted by... decorating. <laughs> but uh, hello, welcome, welcome, I hope everyone's having a good Friday. Welcome on in. Oh, and thank you for the, the drive-by care package as well, Zarok. I hope you rest well when you do, because I know it's late for you. But uh, thank you for the posture check. I'll have a big stretch. And I'll have a sip of my monster. And return to decorating. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm having a nice day too. I am. I'm, I'm, ha I'm having a lovely start to the day. I didn't sleep much last night, but that's okay. I don't need sleep. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm excited because I'm, I'm going to be visiting Ofkai in virtual form later today at 2 p.m. PST. Oh, P PDT. It's, it's daylight savings time. But yeah, I'm going to be at Ofkai. I'm going to be roaming as a little iPad. Someone's going to be carrying me. I'm not going to be roaming by myself. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to my my tour of the convention. I think it'll be fun. Right, let's see. Oh, this house is so charming. Oh. I'm snooping. Oh, they have keys. I could I could literally pick up their keys and put them in different places. If I wanted. Okay, we're going to be replacing these, I think. But let's have a look. Yeah, we're selling stuff. We need to clean up. Oh, we're demolishing walls. Oh. And then I'm buying them new plants because these ones are dead. Oh, which wall am I demolishing? This one? I think I might be demolishing this wall. Yeah. To open this up. So that'll be good. Will I stream that? No, I'm not going to be streaming. There's a there's a lot of restrictions in place for for streaming like virtually at Ofkai. And I'd rather like take time and just like enjoy this experience to myself cuz I'm only going to be doing it for half an hour as well. It's not going to be I'm not going to be there for a super long time. But uh but no, I won't be streaming that. But if anyone is there at the convention, and sees me roaming around. I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. Stop. Hammer time. I'm so strong. Oh, I, lo I love the crash it makes. It's a very satisfying clunk. I like that I'm doing it. There's just this like food over here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting rubble and debris all over this food. That's fine. It's fine. The power of video games. It's not a problem. Right, what else are we selling? Oh, I'm I'm selling these. Okay, we don't we don't need those. It doesn't matter that I I got rubble and debris over them then. We're not keeping them. We're, we're getting rid of all this food and drink. And these. Boop. And we're going to buy some more plant pots as well. Oh, look at you. Wait, this is so cool. Look at those. This is like a raccoon with a bamboo machine gun. <laughs> what is going on here? I love this. I want one. Oh, hello! We've got like a cool fire archer as well. We've got mech suit. Oh, who are these? I love these. Oh, here are the games! Oh, I bet they're from these games. Hold on. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Please, I want to look at the game. Oh yeah, that one's frog traffic. We saw that one. I think we saw quite a few of these when I was doing a different job. But uh, yeah, 
What have we got? We've got uh, Frog Traffic. We've got Deadly Fist Fight. We've got First Fiction 17. We've got uh, True Simulator. Oh, that's the one that's like real life. We've got Steampunk 3070. Uh, oh, Steampunk 1077? We've got Kraken and. Oh, why have you got two copies of First Fiction 17? I guess they're sisters. I guess if the game came out when they weren't living together, they would both have a copy. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, they've got two copies of the same game. But oh, donuts, you forgot you wanted them, but it's late now. Oh no. Also, Gambler, thank you for stopping in and lurking as well. I hope the stuff goes well. Sorry, I got I got distracted looking at these. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is like a, a palette swap of this one as well. Yeah, one of them's collector's edition. This one, the collector's edition also came with an exclusive statue, maybe. <laughs> I should probably be doing the actual job. I'm just getting so distracted. Right, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of all this rubbish. They have so much. So much stuff just lying out on the counter. Okay, I need to remember to pick up that plate. Because otherwise I will definitely forget. Alright, what else is there? Okay, there's a lot of stuff to sell. So I think it's selling time. What are we selling? Oh! We're having a proper kitchen renovation here. I can't believe they're selling the Leviathan energy drink. I wonder what we're buying to replace this stuff. Right, we we'll sell. Oh, I, I think this is them. I think this is the sisters. That's so sweet. Oh, I love that there's a, a picture of them on the wall. That's very sweet. Right, what else are we selling? Okay, that's everything. Let's clean. Where are the stains? Oh, it's where, where the pictures were. Boop. Uh, boop. Good as new. And there's one more stain? Is there one more stain? No, that's all of them. Never mind. There is not one more stain. All right, so I guess we're buying... Oh, we're getting them a new oven. Oh, nice. Very nice. And then I guess... Uh, oh, big fridge. Oh yeah, they're getting the full kitchen upgrade now. And then we're, we're putting up some new hanging cabinets. So I guess these will be like... I never know where to place these. Let's do it in line with the, the tiles. That seems like it might be appropriate. Maybe? And then a corner one? Okay, there isn't a corner one. Oh, I need to do the... Okay. Hold on. There isn't a corner one, so I'm just going to put that there. And then we put this... <laughs> I don't know where to put this. Like that? I think this works! Because this is like a an oven thing to go with that, I think. I don't know how kitchens work. What's a kitchen? Uh, <laughs> do that and- oh, and then I can- <gasps> Oh, okay, no, I know how this works. I know how this works. And then this will fit really nicely into the gap there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nice. You get a bread bin. You get plant pots for the kitchen. Where do I put these? Uh, 
Um, I probably should unpack this stuff. Um. Oh, table! Table for kitchen. With three chairs. Oh, it's so sunny! This is so sunny and nice. This is a really nice kitchen. Oh, maybe I do it against the wall? I need to unpack everything from that box anyway, but if I do it like here? And have the three chairs around it. That might work. Like this. Also, Marblesaurus Rex, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you for dropping the follow. Let me, actually, I'm putting the plates together. Oh no, I can only stack two of them. Oh no, okay. I need to find another plate. <laughs> can I really not stack all of them? No, I can't. Not like directly, I guess. Let's do that. That is weird, but I'm gonna pretend they're stacked neatly. What else? Oh, this is all the plants. Oh, and then an induction stovetop. I should move the bread bin. The bread bin does not go there. I'm realizing my mistakes and the plates also do not go here. There we go. Okay. This goes here. Um, is it like that way? I don't know which way around it should go. Should the instruction, like the, the button things be here? Oh, maybe I should make it match that up there. Is it like that? I'm gonna say yes. No, I think that should be at the front. The side. Like, I feel like it... Doing that feels like it makes the most sense to me because that... It looks like... I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm gonna put them at the front. <laughs> I wish I knew how this thing worked. What? There, that'll do. That's, that's the way around it should be. If it's not, I... I choose not to accept that. <laughs> right, and the rest is the plant pots. So I'm thinking... Oh no, the plant pots are just for the whole room. It's not just the kitchen. Okay, that makes things easier. So we got them all up here. What if I just have all of them? On these windowsills. Yeah, I'm just gonna have all of them on the windowsills here and then, oh, and then this can be in the corner here next to the sofa. Oh, that's gonna be really nice. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I think this is nice. And then this is the big one, so this will go in this pot. Oh, look at that. And then we got tulips. Those are huge. And daffodils or narcissus. And we need two of these. And then please let this be small. Okay, this is daffodils. They're not small. <laughs> um, I guess the other way around. I guess the narcissus go in the smaller pots like that and then the daffodils in these pots like that yeah I think that works yeah I think that should be okay yeah I might spread them out a bit actually a bit more like that Yeah, I like how this looks. 
Then we can have like a, a big one on there and then a little one over here. Yeah, I think that's cute. I think that's nice. Now we just have to unpack the box. I can't wait for there to be stuff in here that's gonna make me move everything around. Oh, a spatula. Ooh. Okay, a spatula can go in there. Book. Book four, bookshelf. Um, how do I turn it there? Book goes on bookshelf. Yeah, yeah, buttons at the front seems more useful so you can reach it with any hand at all times. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. But then I was like, this looks like a, a power symbol and I'm always used to seeing that with the line at the top. So then I was second guessing myself, like, should it be at the side? And then I saw this thing and it's like backwards from what this is. So I don't know, but I, I, I choose to accept that it's correct now. More books. What? Books on the shelf. Ah, uh, what's this book? Oh, that's not a book. That's a box. Okay. Uh, if I have more books, I may need to move that box. But yeah, I love that I'm like <laughs> puzzling with flowers. I'm trying to figure out where they look nicest. I have no idea. Oh, look at this though. Wait, this is the best. I love these. I've got like little matching cloths and oven gloves. Oh, but I can't fit it if I put them here. I wanna, I wanna put them on the little hooks. Surely that's what the little hooks are for. To put these on. I guess not. Where else can I put you? No, it's gotta be. I shall simply move the hooks. line up properly. Uh, I'm gonna pretend they're hooked on. Oh, that one worked! Does it work if I put it here? That's close enough. We're gonna pretend it's on the hook. <laughs> We're gonna pretend it's on the hook because it looks nice like that. Ladle can go in there. Tongs can go in there. <gasps> pan! Where are we putting the pans? I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna stick them under, under the sink. No, I should put them in here. Pans. Pans can go in here. Oh, it's turned into unpacking now. <laughs> Less decorating now and more, where the heck do I put these? How does a kitchen function? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we're done with the kitchen living room. Right, what are we doing next? Yeah, this is like a little storage utility room. This is what I was thinking of. When I was thinking of what to put in that room in my house, this is basically exactly what I was imagining. Like the room next to my kitchen. I want it to be like this kind of pantry storage space with like utility room washing machine and stuff. This is what I was thinking of, this kind of room. Right, so let's unpack these boxes and put things where they should be. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a cucumber. Okay, um, where the heck? A uh, cucumber can go in there? Okay, yeah, the cucumbers are going in here, I guess. Oh, tomatoes. Okay, this is like the vegetable box now. Vegetables, got some corn. I can actually put it in the box, there we go. <laughs> More corn. Oh my goodness, I can't place it in the box. Here, there, okay. And carrots. I like that it's just two of each vegetable. <laughs> because there's two of them. Oh, I wish I could stack these. Aww. All right, the aubergines are going somewhere else, I guess. 
They're just going on the shelf like that, I guess. Oh, and a leak. Yeah, these are huge. Where the heck do I put these? I need another box for them. What am I doing with these? Um, it feels really bad leaving it there. I but I can't fit it on here, can I? Oh, maybe I can. Oh, Okay, it's sticking off the edge a little bit, but I think that is fine. cabbage this storage room is all over the place okay the leviathan energy drinks are going over here I did not just tread on that don't worry about it so that can go there but oh Jack I'm the same though I'm I'm not a fan of touch screens on like devices and things. I like having a physical button that you can press and know that it has been pressed. <laughs> like even, like I know there's like ways of doing it with like haptic feedback so that even, even if it's just a touch screen, you can still tell that you've like pressed it down because there's like a little vibration or something, but I, I really don't like the, the haptic feedback. If there's ever a, a, an option to turn off vibration and things, I always do. <laughs> I'm always just immediately in the options like, yeah, let's um get rid of that. Oh, look at this. I'm doing it. I'm managing to fit everything in, in the weirdest ways. And then you can go up here. This works well. Oh, milk? Shouldn't this go in the fridge? Oh, I guess may maybe this stuff should go in the fridge. Maybe this is all stuff for the fridge. And I've been silly. No, the vegetables can go in here, I think. What is this? Oh, flour! Okay, yeah, flour can go in here. Let's move these drinks. So there's more space for other things. Boop. The flower can go there. Ah, oh, say, when you got a new oven, that was like one of the major requirements. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like with a physical button, it it's easier to tell if it's broken. Whereas sometimes it's like you'll you'll be pressing like a touch screen and be like, okay, is this broken or is it just not accepting my touch? <laughs> There's no way to like really know that. I, I like like a I like buttons with like a very satisfying press. Like you know when you press them down. Now I'm putting the milk in the fridge. I'm not leaving that out. But uh, the juice can come out here. The juice to go with the Ola. Nice. Another one completed. Also, Sarah Cat, hello. You got the pink monster in hand. About to try it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope you like it. Oh, I'm so glad you're here to try it. <laughs> I'm so glad you, you bought it and thought, you know what? I'm going to drink this while Lyrie's live. Thank you. I hope you like it, though. It's it's one of my favorites. I love the Ultra Rosa. It's nice. Uh, one of your parents had a has a full-touch oven, and the amount of times you canceled heating the oven because of slow response to the touch. Oh, that would that would also drive me mad. That would be so frustrating to me. <gasps> Pineapple! Hello! You can go there. And a pear. Is there a fruit bowl? Okay, they don't have a fruit bowl, I guess. Th I'm, I'm, I'm just putting these on the shelves now. This is very much not the best way to do this. Oh, wait, there's a pair of pears! I love it. This is just fruit. I'm just going to dump all the fruit over here. I, 
could do this really neatly and well, but also I came here as an interior designer. I don't know why they're making me unpack their groceries for them. <laughs> I'm here like this. This isn't my specialty. I don't know what I'm doing, but I will do it for you. I'll still do it. I will unpack your groceries. You're just not allowed to complain at where I put everything. <laughs> it's all here. Yay. Flawless, flawless storage. I think I did a good job with that. Oh wait, I, I, I was moving all of these around. I had to sell them. Oh, oh that would have made things way easier, wouldn't it? I was moving them all to the side. We, we're getting rid of them. I, th I probably should put the fruits in there, huh? There's the fruit bowl. I'm, I see now. I see my mistakes now. I've been very smart. Very smart and clever. Um, <laughs> you know what? Still not my problem. I am still an interior designer who came here to do interior design things and not unpacking groceries. I will put the cabbage in there, though. Ooh, if I can. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, on the floor. Okay, I'll put it in this one. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're, we're done with the, we're done with the pantry storage room. Nice. But yeah, I love the thought of them just being, oh yeah, we, we've got this woman coming in to do the interior design to, to fix up our, demolish our walls, fix up the kitchen, get our cozy reading nook, make our gym. What if we also get her to unpack our groceries? <laughs> and I'm just here like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, hope that's all right for you. Uh, see ya, not my problem anymore. <laughs> Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. It's it's definitely one of my favorites. I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite. It's definitely in the running for my favorite. I don't know if I can pick just like one favorite with the monster flavors. Oh, this is gonna be the cozy reading nook. Oh, I'm so excited. Hold on, before I start unpacking this, am I, yeah, I'm buying a shelf. I'm buying a bookshelf. I'm starting with this before I take all the books out. Oh, where do I put this? If I put it here, it like, it sticks out a bit. I don't want to put it like in the window. Where, where do I put this? This may be here. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, or maybe here. Oh yeah, I think this side, so it's not in the way when you're coming up the stairs. Yes, that is where the shelf shall be. Boop. And now the book's gone on the shelf. Ha 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 ha. I don't know what the books are. I'm just lining them up. But uh, sure someone's made grocery shelf stocking simulator by now. Yeah, they literally, um... Supermarket Simulator came out not long ago. I, I saw so many people playing it. But yeah, that game is like, it's like you run a supermarket, but you have to do the stuff like, you have to stock the shelves, you have to like count out the change at the tills, you have, it's like managing every aspect of it. <laughs> and then later on you can like hire employees to do like the cashiering stuff and everything. But it's all about like buying in the stock. And oh, what, hold on. <gasps> Oh, it's a bench! Oh, wait. Oh, this goes on here like it's, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so nice! Oh! We got little cushions. This is lovely. This is so lovely. I realize the handle is a little bit in the way there, but oh. this is so nice. Look at all the cushions. There's so many. We have all the cushions. And we have a lamp. 
and a lamp. Oh, I should probably try and like make them even. Line them up. There we go. Symmetrical. This is so nice. Might move the cushions a little bit. out how I want to place things here. It's like, do I want to go like this and then like... Ooh, yeah, something like this would work. But I'm doing it on this end because that's that side's got the, the window, like the door to open the window, and I feel like the handle would get in the way if you're relaxing on that side. So all the cushions will be this side. Like that. And then the books are over here. You just grab a book. No, actually, I'm doing two either side. Never mind. As I was putting them down, I'm like, you know what? I changed my mind. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Cushions and cushions. This, this this is gonna be so cozy. This is so comfy. <gasps> I have a plant pot. Hee. <laughs> With daffodils. Oh wait, that's so cute. <gasps> Look how cute this plant pot is. <gasps> oh, I love that. It's a little bird. A little bird with the crocuses. Ah. Oh, that's really cute. That's really, really cute. That's so cute. I love that. I love that. I want that to be the centerpiece here. I'm gonna dump these daffodils up here. I want this to be for the bird. This whole little shelving unit here, that is for the bird now. That is for the bird. I, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, I have to buy another plant pot, but I don't, I don't have more plants. Why did, why? Hmm. It doesn't want me to buy more plants. I just bought a plant pot. Okay, I hope they get new plants soon. But that's what they wanted from me. Right, so, oh, this is a cleanup job. Oh. Goodness gracious. Oh, this is a really nice room though. Oh wait, look, they're little animals. They're little animal plant pots. That's so cute. The little dog and the fox and the hedgehog. I love those. What's on the shelves? More of these like hugging sculptures. Oh, hair dryer just left on the shelf. Is there anything in the drawers? I don't think there's anything in the drawers. All right, let's clear that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Look, there's a, the duck with the shades and there's a duck with the top hat. Good, good room. Quality room. Oh, there's a duck up there as well. Is there another duck? No, but there is the crayfish down there. Right, what else am I doing in here? Oh, I'm buying, oh my goodness, I'm, oh. <gasps> I need this in my house. I need this one in my house. I want the little octopus plant pot in my house. I, I don't even keep plants. I'm really bad at keeping plants, but I need that. I need that in my house. A little snail. Ooh, I love these. <laughs> They're so cute. And now I see we're going for the, the succulent path which is also the only kind of plant I can look after. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Now we put one in here. 
They're a little wobbly. They're, they're not like lining up properly, but it's okay. We just pretend they're lining up properly. Because this is like with precise placement on as well. Grid snap is like even further off. It's close enough. We pretend it is central. <gasps> oh. Spiky boy for octopus. And then that for the snail. Yeah, look! They're cute. Okay, this bedroom is done. Oh, you can't even keep a succulent alive sometimes. I feel like it's really easy to overwater them. It's like everyone always chooses succulents because they're like, oh, it's so easy to look after them. Like, you can forget to water them and it's fine. But also, like, if you overwater them, you they can end up, like, the roots can end up rotting and stuff. It's hard to, like, resist the urge to be like, well, I need to water you regularly because you are a plant. <laughs> Duck. Right, okay. Oh, nothing to do in the bathroom. I, I'm just snooping for no reason. Yeah. Nice bathroom. Right, what's in here? Oh, I bet this is going to be the room that's going to be renovated to be the gym. So before I do that, I'm going to check in here. Yes, a little bit. Oh, okay. We have found the owner of the figures downstairs. <laughs> We've got Heart Flipper over here. We've got all of the, the M Spinner posters. We've got all of the protagonists. We've got a Vengebution poster. We've got our Company of Champions. Oh, no. Oh, no. That raccoon I liked is a Company of Champions. Legend. Yeah, look at all these legends from Company of Champions. <laughs> oh, that's the same with the, the fire, fiery one I saw, too. I was like, that's so cool. They are Company of Champions characters. Now I see. Oh, I think that might be an M Spinner figure, maybe? I'm not sure. There's another duck over here as well. And, an, and a fidget spinner with the M Spinner stuff. Oh, wait. I wonder if that's like tie in merch. <laughs> if M Spinner came out and they're like, well, you can get your own M Spinner. Summon your mechs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Right, what do I even have to do in here? Oh, just replace the dead plants. I can do that. Boop. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Goodbye, is that all of them? Yes. I'm buying, oh, a wall plant pot. Ooh. Oh, that'll, that'll go here, that'll be nice. That'll go really nicely here. And oh, speaking of plants, strawberries everywhere, they're getting ripe. I love strawberries. I love when it's strawberry season. I'm Strawberries are one of my favorite fruits. I love them. Where do I I'm I'm sure this has got to go in here. Did I I think I put it too close to the mirror, maybe. I'm pretty sure this is going in here. Is it not? Isn't it going in there? Hmm. Hmm. What if I put it on this wall? Will you go in now? No? Feels like this should be going in there, but I, I guess not. Okay, regular plant pot. Oh wait, before I do that, plant stand. There we go, where is this going? I'm, I'm putting it here. Plant stand is going in that corner. Plant pot. Plant pot. Plant pot. Okay. Will this go in one of these? Okay, this will go in one of these. So, okay, that can go at the top. And look really... No, that, that can go at the bottom. Look really cool like that. Oh, this is quite big. It can both go in there. There we go. <laughs> I don't 
don't know what I'm doing with these. And then orchid, will that go in there? Kind of technically, I think it probably should go in here. And the snake plant can go in here. Yes, maybe? Maybe? That really doesn't work. What? A Where am I meant to put this? We shall pretend it's in there. <laughs> that room is done. I'm closing the door. We did it perfectly. Nothing to worry about. Oh, oh garden strawberries. Uh, if you want an easy plant, these strawberries planted themselves and keep spreading. Oh. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've, I've had friends who've, uh, who've planted strawberries before and it's just been incredible the way they just like grow out from the original plant. Like strawberries are really resilient and they also taste very nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm not one for gardening. <laughs> I leave gardening to other people who are better at gardening. But yeah, I do love strawberries. I think strawberries are one of my favorite fruits. I love them. I'm just a fan of berries in general, I think. I really like berries. Also, J. June, hello! Flippin' Friday! It is indeed. Welcome, welcome! I'm doing a job because I ran out of money. <laughs> welcome, welcome! Oh, it feels sad selling all of these things. But I guess they don't want them anymore. Right, let's make this into a gym. Wait! J. June, you just joined at the, the perfect time. I'm 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 making a home gym. Did I like summon you with the the workout equipment? <laughs> it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Amazing. I summoned you. Look at look at these dumbbells. <laughs> it's time for you to be pained as I don't know where to put anything. Right, let's start with the elliptical trainer. I shall put this here and I shall stick a TV on the wall. <laughs> this seems good. That seems that seems good, right? Is that maybe a bit close? I don't know. I move it back a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh, and I'm gonna color it with green as well, because most of the most of the furniture, the way they want it from the shop, is like greens and lime greens. So okay, the greens are going here. I don't know if I need all of the colors. I don't know if they want it to be like a full rainbow workout room. This is so bright. That is so bright. Oh, nice motivational and oh you also have blackberries blueberries cherries kiwis and white peaches oh that sounds like heaven oh i love fruit i love fruit so much oh that's so nice yeah i love fresh cherries honestly i'm just a fan of most berries but yeah i think strawberries probably are my favorite like, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say strawberries. Because I like strawberries, the fruits, and I also like strawberry-flavoured things as well. Whereas sometimes I'll like a fruit, but I won't like things that are, like, that fruit-flavoured. Okay, we got the green. What now? Oh, I only had to paint some of the walls anyway. Yeah, well, we're going green to match, so that makes sense. We're keeping the rest of the walls white. I guess that makes sense. Right, let's get the the rest of the stuff in here. Wait, bench. <laughs> I don't know where to place these things. Right, if we're, this goes here and then I get the dumbbells. Some. What? what where? 
<laughs> How does this work? Please help me. I don't know anything. <laughs> What's a roller? What is a roller? <laughs> it's not a weight bench. Oh, I don't know what. We, we just have like random equipment that's probably good for something. Oh, you know what? Let's let's put these like in the corner over here. Well, I'm I'm just going to like leave this here, whatever whatever it is. We'll figure it out. But uh, my favorite berry isn't even technically a berry. I know, but it's it it is a berry, just like tomatoes are vegetables. <laughs> and I I will stand with that forever. But uh, yo, oh, you you have so many things. Oh my goodness, you grow so many foods. That's so nice. That must be lovely to just have your own fruit and veg whenever you want. All right, two two kettlebells, two dumbbells. I'm just like lining everything up along here now. Boop boop. Gym ladder. You can go there. <laughs> Bookcase. You can go there. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I maybe should move these things and put them on the shelves. Yeah. Oh, if I put that like there. That kind of works. Kind of. I feel like I'm doing everything wrong, but it, 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 so long as they pay me, so long as I get paid, I've done a good job. <laughs> you can move, they can move their own furniture when they figure out where they want it. Oh, your partner loves to garden and you help a ton. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, gardening is the kind of thing that is not my hobby, but uh. My grandparents, like, uh, my granddad, when he was alive, he was, like, he loved his garden. He would be in the garden all of the time. And it was always, like, the nicest garden. Like, there were there were flowers everywhere. There was, like, fruit and veg growing. It's very nice. What is this, a speaker? It is a speaker. I'm, I'm just gonna pop the speaker on the wall. Sure, why not? And then we'll stick two yoga mats in the corner and call it a day. <laughs> I did it. Okay, that's the gym now. Um, if they don't like where I've put things, they can move it themselves. Right, now I need to figure out what else I'm missing because I'm, I'm still only at one star. So I'm clearly missing a lot. The question is what and where? And oh, Destiny Kim too. Hello, welcome, welcome, and thank you. I will pass along the the well wishes as well. Yeah, Xander's been having a rough time. He's mostly okay, but he's very his mouth is very sore and aching. So he's so we decided it was best for him probably not to do a stream where he's talking for four hours when his mouth is hurting. So I, did, I, I was just like, it's okay, you rest. Don't worry about it. I can do some house flipping. But yeah, uh, uh, Xander, he, he had a, a dental appointment on Tuesday. He had to get some dental work done. So it was like, when I made the schedule, I was like, it is very, it might happen for Family Friday. But we decided, like, he woke up this morning and he was just like, it's probably not a good idea to try and talk too much. So I was just like, don't even worry about it. I can I can vacuum up some leaves and gravel instead, like every person does in the garden. But yeah, it's like I, I didn't want him to, like, feel like he had to stream and talk for four hours when his mouth's aching. But yeah, I think he's doing all right. And I'll definitely pass along the well wishes as well. But yeah, he's, he's been having a rough time with his wisdom teeth. He's gotten incredibly unlucky with wisdom tooth stuff. 
So that's not been very fun for him. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be over soon. Hopefully it won't be a problem now. He's had his... I don't know if he's had them all removed yet. I think these might have been the last ones. I don't know if he has any wisdom teeth left. He might do. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, he's had wisdom teeth out. So that's not a fun time. <laughs> Oh, these clean up so nicely. Oh my goodness, look how dirty they were. Oh, it's so much nicer now. That's so much nicer. Any more dirt? Okay, I think I got the dirt. Also, Maury, hello! Welcome, welcome, how's it going? Can't believe Xander's wisdomless. <laughs> It's okay. He he has enough wisdom without the teeth. The teeth don't make a difference. In fact, like the way things were, I think the wisdom teeth were named to that because they were sapping the wisdom away. So he's going to be so much smarter without them. <laughs> but hi, I hope you're doing well. And holy shrimp as well. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Welcome to house flipper times. I'm just selling everything in their garden. <laughs> You don't need these. What am I going to replace this with? Oh, I still have some more plants to sell. What am I selling? Oh! There. And... Anything else? It wants me to sell another plant. Oh, it's, it's right here. It's right here. Okay, and now we buy new ones. <gasps> Wait, we're buying a patio umbrella. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I love this. Oh, Maury is suffering from allergies. Oh, no, I hope they ease up soon. It really does feel like allergy season has just kind of kicked down the door in a very rude manner but oh i hope it eases off soon and also yes uh Susume, you did mention oh no it's sarah cat even you, you did mention about the six wisdom teeth I, re I remember you mentioning that because i'm pretty sure we talked about teeth in another house flipper stream too i'm pretty sure it was house flipper oh i'm remembering it's because it was the last time Xander had his first lot of wisdom teeth taken out and it was a Friday and I replaced it with House Flipper. <laughs> that's why, that's why it ended up with the, the teeth discussion. I remember now. Uh, also Destiny, don't worry about like rushing or anything. Don't, don't feel like obligated to finish fan art or anything, but it, I already love how it's turned out. But yeah, no need to apologize for that at all. Don't worry about it. But thank you. But yeah, uh, Xander... Xander's had his teeth stolen and he's feeling rough. So I did a bit of house flippy instead. <gasps> blueberry bush! <gasps> we got blueberries. Put them here. Put them here. Yes. Oh, we're putting sun beds as well? Ooh, what if I just have them, like, here, in the sun? How many of these lights? we got four of these lights. So I think we go corners. I can't quite put it in the corner like I want, but I can put it there. Oh, these are not like corners at all. Ugh. This is fine. And then I'm just gonna stake another one down there. <laughs> this is the worst garden design. <laughs> but it's okay, because now we got flowers, so a uh, bubble bomb. How many of these? Two. And two of these. Oh, 
Oh, actually, I'm gonna make the same arrangement in both of these. Or attempt to. No, no, I'm not ready to finish the job. I'm not done yet. I just placed them. Do I need more daffodils? I guess I need even more again. Okay, well, um, four of these. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then nine of these. I'm just gonna smoosh them wherever I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is such a mess. Seven, eight, nine. There we go. I'm still missing something. I'm still not at three stars. What am I missing? I've done this part of the garden. I've done... There's nothing to be done up here. Is there anything like around here then? <gasps> There's a garage. I forgot about the garage. Oh... I need to do something with the garage. I didn't even realize. Oh, there we go. I did not even think to come in here. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna be selling that. Yes. I don't know how I guessed. Oh, we're buying bikes. Oh, they're getting bicycles. They each get one. And now we're buying a rake. Can I just put this stuff like... I can put it on the wall, okay. We're putting all of the gardening tools over here. So we've got a rake. We've got a shovel. We've got a garden fork. Gardening shovel. I love that it's like a tiny... Tiny little trowel and it's listed as a shovel. I guess it kind of is. Because the shovel's about like the shape of it, I think. And a watering can. The watering can fit up here. Yes. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Oh, you want to finish it real bad and the hair scares you. Yeah, shading is hard. I feel like learning how to shade and color with like art is... I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, oops. Okay, put it back on the shelf. Okay, you stay there. <laughs> I didn't realize that clicking on it would make me like pick it up. Oopsie. Okay, and with that, I think I'm done with the job. Everything. Yes, we got the three stars. Finished job. And I've got 34,497. So I can decorate my house again. I love how I'm, I'm here. Like, I could be doing these jobs to earn money, to do up other houses, to gain a profit. But I'm just here like, no, I'm just spending this all on my own home. This is my money now. This is what I'm... <laughs> I'm just spending this money on myself. I am still so proud of how this wall turned out, though. I love this. I love this. I'm so proud of this. I kind of want to do more of the... The the played textured walls now. I, I love how that turned out. Like, maybe with smaller stripes. I love it. I might do. I might try with like a teal wall. Maybe in the office in here. I think I want to. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and do what I did here, but smaller and in teal instead of pink. So I'm gonna have to buy a, a lighter colored teal one because I only have like this regular teal so I need this but 
lighter. Like that one? How much lighter? I'm gonna go for just one shade lighter. This might still be too dark, but we shall see. Alright, so I start. Yes. I'm gonna do this uh, two width instead of three. One, two. To. Yes, that works really well for this wall because it's an even number across. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the it's the Sims thing where it's so it's so relaxing to just like especially in this game there is something just so calming about just going just going through just starting to design something and just going along with it and chatting. Like, I kind of just zone out while I'm painting sometimes and just talk about whatever conversation topic is happening. And it's just such a, a lovely game to play. Especially, like, if I'm stressed out or I haven't been sleeping well, which has it's kind of been both at the moment. <laughs> it's really nice to have a game like this to unwind with. It's very relaxing. Right, so now... I need to do a little four. I need to do a little four. I need to do a little four. It's so even. It's even. It's perfect. It's perfectly even. Oh, and then I keep doing these little squares. And then the bits in between to bridge them, I'll use the light blue, the light teal again. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I'm so I'm, I'm so happy. I thought to do this. I love how it started from me seeing the swatches on the wall and being, what if I have stripes? And then seeing the stripes and being, what if I had squares? And then seeing the squares and being, what if I had played? <laughs> it all worked out so beautifully. And now look at this, where the magic happens. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. I love this. This is my, my new favorite thing to do in House Flipper. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, oh. Almost got it in the wrong spot there, but I didn't. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I love this. I, I, I love that I ended up here. I'm so happy I ended up here. My house is gonna be so pretty. Look at that! It's so nice! It is so nice! I am so genuinely over the moon with how this looks. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, I need more white paint. I really love that. I love it so much. Right, now let's... I'm gonna do all of this white now, I think. Because I've got this wall white on the other side as well, so... I think we've we've got our splash of colour over here with the... with the wall. I don't want to add too much colour. I don't want it to end up being... a situation where, like, you walk in and there's just too much colour and it's overwhelming. Oh, I might use the lighter, the lighter teal for the other two walls, though. I think that might look nice. It might look good. Also, Wild Nick, hello! Welcome, welcome, how's it going? Welcome to House Flippy Times. I'm, I'm currently decorating my own house. Uh, I, I had a, a slight break to go and do a job because I was running out of money. But I'm now back to my own house. 
and I painted I painted this wall like this and I'm so proud of it. I love this. I love it. I'm so glad I did this. I love it. Okay, lighter one. And now I do this wall like this. Yee. Going okay? Thought you'd pop in before you go to the theatre? Ooh! Oh, that sounds nice. What are you going to see? Uh, thank you for stopping in, though. I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm in the kind of situation where I'm really busy and I've had no sleep and usually I would be a wreck. But I'm actually feeling really good today. <laughs> I think I'm just excited because Ofkai Expo is happening this weekend. I've got like the, the Ofkai adrenaline rush. Oh, I really love this. I think this is going to be so nice, especially when I've fully decorated it to look like my streaming room. I don't know if I... Mm, I don't know if I want the wall to stay teal, actually. I think I may just go fully neutral for this. And for the colours, I think I'll bring it in with furniture. With the furniture and accessories. Instead of having it as the wall colour. I, I feel like it's just a little bit too much. A teeny bit. Especially because the outside walls are all painted pink. And we've still got a bit of pink coming through here. I think having the teal right next to that is a little... A little bit too overwhelming to be comfy. Haha! Ah, -ha. oh, your 12 year old niece is in a theatre production of Les Miserables. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope your niece does well. I hope your niece enjoys it as well. That's so cool. That's so nice to, to go and support her as well. I hope you have a good time with it. Also, Mel, hello! Do a flip! Um, last time I tried, I, I glitched myself into the wall, so I'm I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground for now, but oh, welcome! <laughs> welcome, welcome, how's it going? Look, I've painted this on my walls. I've, I've painted my walls. I've painted this a square at a time. I love how my house is coming along. Ooh, this feels like a spot for a nice fluffy rug as well, I think. Where is my carpet? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go one shade lighter for this. did it three at the top okay I was gonna be like I'm gonna put a rug here with like a buffer of four at the edges but I put that three at the top so we're doing a buffer of three edges now but hey look at that now we have a nice rug in here I can add my desk here in a second we've got a lovely living area here oh what if I find a sofa See if there's a nice sofa. Uh, seats. I do. I, I think I want a corner sofa. Wait, is there only one? Oh, there's only one type of corner sofa, but I, I think this is meant to be like a modular one. Like you can buy the the extra parts and make it like a modular sofa. Anyway, it's going to be pink. It is simply going to be pink. So much pink here. I'm making this very pink. Then what we do is we will have the sofa here. And also... Here. And we extend it out like this. Ha ha ha! Look at that! Oh, 
yeah. And then we do the same on the other side. <laughs> that is my plan. This is my sofa. This, yes, this is what I want my sofa to be. There's my sofa. Yeah. Oh, actually, do I... Mm. Do I want to add more? No, I think this is good. I think this is good. All right, well now I'm going to get a TV stand. Uh, wait, electronics. Let's get a TV. Daniel, how big is this? Oh, that's, a, that's about the size I would want, I think. Oh no, that's a wall-mounted one. I don't want a wall-mounted one. Wait, this looks like our TV. <laughs> Wait, I'm having this one. This looks like our TV. I love that. Yeah, this is just like the TV we own. Down to like the little legs and everything. Yes, I'm having this one. But yes, now I need a TV stand. So, stand. TV stand? I can probably search TV stand. Oh, I'll just search TV. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, they're listed as cabinets. TV cabinet. I see. Oh, and Wild Nick, uh, you have social anxiety, but keep saying in your head it's for your niece. Oh, I hope you still manage to have a good time. And also, you should feel proud of yourself as well for for going out of your comfort zone for something like that too, because it is not easy. <laughs> but I hope you have a I hope you have a really nice time with it. And also, Branch Tooth, hello, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you think so. I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. Right, I think I'm gonna go for this kind of cabinet, but like white plastic. And then the front's going to be light pink. <laughs> and the handles are also going to be white. Oh, pure white. I don't know if it even makes a difference, but... Details... Are also white. Yeah, there we go. TV stand. TV cabinet. And then I'm, I'm hoping I can change the colors of the TV as well. Maybe. Oh, I should use the, the, the handle to tell what's central. Yeah, I think that's central. That looks central. I think it's central. I'm gonna choose to believe it is. <laughs> Also, Mama, hello! Welcome, welcome, how's it going? Base is white. Little feet are pink. Wait, no, I'm, I'm just making the TV pink too. This is my home. And the TV channel is going to be Modern Aliens because that one was incredible. Turn the volume down though. Oh, yeah. My TV. We're watching Modern Aliens. I love this show. It's so good. Ah, uh, have to go watch uh, both youngest nieces. Oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, I bet that would be a lot of fun. Whoa, there it is, the aliens. Oh, you were thinking of playing this at some point? How is it overall? Uh, overall, it is... Uh, I highly recommend it. 100%. 110%. I love this game. This game is such a joy to play. And look at my house. <laughs> this is my house. I bought it. I painted the whole outside pink. It has been a very long work in progress. And there is still a lot of work to be done, but this is my house. This is my new living area. This is my kitchen. This is going to be my my office uh, streaming room. 
I don't know what this is going to be. Just a space with comfy chairs, I think. This will be my bedroom. And this will be the bathroom. And then this is my little outside garden up here. This is the rest of the garden out here. I really love my house. <laughs> I really love it. It's, it's, I love this game. I need to make that lighter too. There we go. But I, I really love this game. It's so fun. But yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I... It, there's a lot of freedom. It gives you a lot of freedom to decorate things how you want. But it also has enough, like, what's the word I'm... Framework is kind of the wrong word, but, like, it's got enough of, like, a base that if you're kind of worried with too much freedom, it gives you, like, jobs and guides on what to do. So you're never just, like, floundering, like, there's too much to do, I don't know where to start. It's very nice in that sense, but it also does give you the freedom to just completely do whatever you want. Like, if, if I wanted to just build another story on my house, I could just do that. I could just build another story. If I wanted to knock down all of the walls inside and just have, like, a massive box, I could do that. It lets you do so much, and it's, it's, it's so fun. <laughs> And also, I painted this myself. This wall here, I painted it a square at a time using paint. The paint is just like squares on the wall. You can do your own designs. You can make stripes on the walls. You can have like a strip going across and have it with like the, the panels underneath. It's really, really fun. It's a really good game. And I, every time I play it, I always really enjoy it. All right, I'm just... I'm gonna paint the stairs. Can I paint the steps as well? Won't let me, I might have to do like edit style for that one. Yes, okay. Oh, I could change the railings, ooh. What railings do I want? Ooh, I quite like like the chunky wood railings. It makes it feel a bit more home-like. If I do this and have it, like, white. Or pink. Let's go pink with that. That's really bright pink. Maybe not that. Or I could go, like, painted, white painted wood. <gasps> yeah, I think I like this. And let's just have the stair railing on the left side. Because the other side is by the wall. Confirm. What does... What does it mean by bottom? Open A, open B, closed. Oh, the, the underneath part. I don't know what's the difference between open A and open B. Let's, let's, let's look at it from this angle. Okay, this is open B. This is open A. I'm not noticing a difference. I, I don't know what the difference between those is. Or I could just have it completely closed up. I kind of like it closed, actually. Oh, I might have to build a wall here. <laughs> but I kind of like having it closed. Can I change, like, the stair stairs as well? Oh, base. Let's also do that with the... Glossy painted wood in white. No, I can't change like the design of it. I guess because the staircase was already bought. If I wanted to change that, I'd have to buy a new staircase, I think. But I could do that quite easily. I could do an art. <laughs> BRB, no problem. Thank you. But oh, only at the absolute bottom of the stairs. Ah, just those little bits. Well, I like I like having it like this, I think. Hold on, I want to try and see it now. What? Okay, that doesn't help. Like that. Okay. Open A. Open B. It doesn't... It really... 
like, all that's changing is, like, a slight pattern change there. It doesn't feel like anything changes. We'll just keep it like this. Hmm. But I'd, I'd, I'd like, like, a full staircase. Without the gaps in between. I don't want the staircase with the gaps in between, because I, I kind of imagined myself with a staircase like this. And I know for a fact that I would drop things and they would fall through the stairs slats. <laughs> Because I drop things all the time. <laughs> so I want, like, solid stairs. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to actually just sell the whole staircase. And now I buy a new one. Stairs. Here! Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, I like the cozy rosy ones. Oh, oh, I, do I want... Oh, actually, I think I want this. Let's have the trinket staircase. Oh, goodness. I have to do it like... Man oh. How do I... Oh, goodness. Can't you make like an auto staircase for me? I guess not. I guess I'm- oh, okay. Okay, I made it work. I think. One more at the top there. There, okay. There's my staircase. Oh my goodness, that's trickier than I thought it would be to create a staircase. I guess I've technically made two staircases now because of missing the top step. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to sell them again so I can have them as one staircase. I don't like them being two staircases. I need them to be together. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs to place it. Okay, this is this is where the first step goes. Like that, and then like that. And it comes down to Do I want it there or I'll have it here. There. Wait, it won't let me. Why won't you let me build this here? Why can I not build this here? I think it's because this this is in the way. I think this bit of like floor ceiling is in the way, so I'm just gonna demolish it. Precise it's also thank you for the hydrate and the gym as well. Thank you very much. Let me have a sip. A sip while I try and figure out how stairs work. Okay. Okay, we go there. We go here. And then I bring this down to that. Yes. Okay. There is the staircase. And now we can change the style. We can add the the nice railing that glossy painted white wood just on the, the left side because the right is by the wall have it closed change size oh oh goodness no I don't need to change size we're fine okay I think I did it Oh, maybe I do have the banister on both sides because I've, I've got a banister up here because of because of it being like on this side. Maybe I should make it symmetrical. Yeah, it's just on both sides. And then whoop. Oh, unless actually. <gasps> okay. 
If I change size, can I bring it? I can't bring it this way because it will clip through the wall. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I was wondering if I could precisely clip it through the wall to make the banister be on this side. But I don't think so. I guess I could if I did make it two staircases. <laughs> I'd be able to do it like that so the banister stops right there. Hmm. Staircases are tricky. I'm just going to leave it like this for now, I think. This is more than enough. <laughs> but oh, thank you for the head pat as well. I have to paint. Okay, I don't have to paint them all individually. Phew. There we go. Staircase. And now I change the color of the base. Is there no fabric for this? I wanted like carpet stairs. Oh well, let's just let's just go wood then. Let's stick with the painted wood. But yay, staircase! Oh, actually looking at it, I think. I kinda wanna go with these as the pink. And then paint this white. Yes, so it matches the walls a bit better. Like that. Okay, actually, I don't, I don't like the banister in pink, actually, now that I've done this. That's too much. That is too much. The banister can be white. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like this banister. I think I know what I should do. Maybe. I'm gonna try something that might not turn out well but I want to give it a try no this way this way it's not it's not bringing the stairs down the right way I want I want to bring the stairs along here okay I'll just do it like this and then shrink it afterwards I guess there. <laughs> and now I shrink it by one. Because it wouldn't let me go in this direction otherwise. There we go. <sighs> oh, it won't let me add a banister because it's too small. <laughs> oh no, it will! It will! <gasps> yes. Perfect, perfect. And now... Copy style, paste style. Yes. And now I remove the railing from this one. And now I've I've just built a separate staircase to have the railing and nothing else. There's a little bit of like a seam there. Oh, they're slightly off in size. Oh it's slightly different. It's slightly skewiv. It's slightly incorrect. I need to figure how I need to figure out how to fix this. Ugh. Okay, that can be a problem for next time though. <laughs> next time I play this, I will make the staircase as it should be. We will see. Alright, what if I change size and Oh goodness, what have I done? Yeah, it's like, it doesn't quite work. It's a little painful. It's okay, this will do for now until I can figure something else out. But um, for now, it is six o'clock. So it is time for me to head off and go and have some dinner. But I, I love how much progress I've made today. Before, when we walked in here, it was an empty room with a can of energy drink in the middle of the floor and a couple of swatches of paint. And now it's starting to like genuinely feel like a home. I'm, I love this. I'm, I'm so happy with this. 
I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Is it still curry night? I hope so. I think possibly. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what's happening. But uh, fingers crossed. Either way, it's it's still Taskmaster night. So, <laughs> so that's something to look forward to. But yes, I think that's a good spot to leave it at. And I can head off. And let me a uh, bloop. I'll head on over to here and we can find a raid target. So I can then go and have some dinner and then have a nap and then go on a tour of Afkai Expo. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for it. I'm I'm really looking forward to wandering around at Afkai. It's going to be good. But yes, for now my head is empty as you may be able to tell by the fact I'm kind of just sitting here <laughs> but yeah I think it I'm, I'm getting hungry now so it is definitely time to get some food but yeah I'm really excited this is it from me for now for streaming until Sunday evening when I'll be back with Outer Wilds again but I will be at Ofkai Expo virtually in numerous ways today and tomorrow so that's really exciting I'm excited for that Right, now let's see who is online. Oh, it's been a little while since I raided Kieran. Let's send the raid over to Kieran for anyone else who's not at off <laughs> Uh Kieran and Corey are doing a, a Minecraft collaborative stream at the moment. Oh, they're just about to start it. They have not started yet. <laughs> it is still the starting stream. I'm gonna be that person again. But yeah, for, for anyone else who's not going to off guy, there are still streamers around who are also not going. So there's still entertainment. But uh, thank you, thank you everyone for joining me today. It's been a lot of fun. I was, I was worried about how today would go because I'm very sleep deprived, <laughs> but it was really nice. It was a lot of fun. And thank you for the doot as well. Right, here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we will use the comfy. If not, we will send hearts. And I will send you over to Kieran. Because uh, I think I raided Cory more recently than Kieran. I wish I could raid both of them at the same time. But alas, I cannot. <laughs> but yeah, I'll send the raid over to Kieran. And have some dinner for myself. And then I will be at Off Kai Expo at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I love saying that when it's six o'clock in the evening for me. I'll just be like, oh yeah, two o'clock, which was the four hours ago. <laughs> but it, uh, two o'clock in Pacific time. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I will be off for off Kai Adventures for now, but I'll be back on Sunday for more Outer Wilds, which I am so excited for and also slightly dreading because I'm not sure what to do next, but uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I believe. I believe in myself. But yes, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I will give Sander some treats. I will give him head pats and say that everyone wishes him well. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.